Professional players want to get as close to their game as possible. This means with a gaming mouse, shape, weight, performance, these are all crucially important. With the invention of Lightspeed Wireless, you no longer have to think about things like connectivity or performance, but you still get the benefits of wireless, the freedom of movement, no more need for a bungee. But up to this point, we haven't developed a wireless gaming mouse specifically for esports players. So we work directly with esports professionals across the world to develop the brand new Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse. For most esports professionals, shape is arguably the most important factor when it comes to a gaming mouse. And when it comes to a tournament, it can make or break the difference between winning and losing. We went through many different iterations and prototypes for over two years with over 30 esports professionals to make sure we got the shape exactly the right way we wanted it. It's ambidextrous and it fits multiple different types of grip styles and that's what makes the Pro Wireless one of the best shapes we've ever designed. Weight is also incredibly important for esports professionals, and we were able to shave the weight of the Pro Wireless mouse down to 80 grams. Performance is obviously key for a gaming mouse, and at Logitech G, we never stop innovating on our gaming sensors. The brand new Hero 16K sensor has an upgraded DPI range of 16,000, and it's at 10 times the power efficiency of previous generation sensors, which means much better battery life. The Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse has a magnetic door to store the wireless dongle because esports professionals travel quite a bit. It also has an ambidextrous shape and magnetic thumb buttons to swap for left-handed gamers. And it works with PowerPlay, our wireless charging system. To find out more about the Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse, head over to LogitechG.com and keep playing. Hello, and welcome to the 
Maestro Jules Showdown at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere. And I am joined by the lovely guy <laughs> I'm going to be smashing in about an hour and a half. Gareth <laughs> <laughs> Maestro. I'm really good at Quake. I'm really good at Quake. I'd say you're really good at aiming, mate. Not Quake. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're, we're just bringing you this live to showcase the PTS. Um, I'm really excited about 10 Minute Jewels. That's why I'm sitting here now. And Gareth is also really excited about 10 Minute Jewels. But we're actually going to be showcasing Razy and Wenger. Ven How is it? Wenger or Wenger? He doesn't I, I asked him, he doesn't really care. But yeah. which is the real way? Wenger. Uh, Sounds exotic. Wenger. Ven you what? Wenger. Wenger. Um, <laughs> they're going to be bringing us all seven maps. And we're going to be showing how amazing 10 Minute Jewels are. I think we're nearly actually ready to go. Yep. Already. Uh, what, what's uh, the rules? Well, I think they're changing the rules slightly to what has been played online at the moment. So, because we're playing all seven maps, there's it, it's no best of seven, it's just all seven maps are going to be played. So, they've, they've kind of said they're not going to ban any champions, but they're not going to play the same champion again on any other map. Yeah. So, there is, a, in a way, a ban, but there's not a ban. That makes sense. Doesn't. Thanks no, for that. Okay. <laughs> Clarification. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the players are ready. You can tell them to go. Okay, who's I'm your money on? If we've got seven maps, who's your money on now? For what score line? I don't know. I've not. Uh, I've been playing Wenger a lot while I've been here, but I've only played Razy once. So <sighs> I don't know. I think uh, our volume's low, Susan. Um, I think it's going to be very evenly matched. Yeah. Um, it all depends. Um, I, I think Wenger's a lot stronger-minded, and I think Razy can tilt. So if Razy doesn't tilt. It could be very close. If Razy doesn't tilt, yes. And if Razy tilt, it's game over. Yeah. Really? Venga's yeah. that strong? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. So you're expecting what? A 4 3 to Venga. Is that money? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going live into game now. First map is a Walken. I've, I have played this map a little bit. The newer maps I'm not obviously so familiar with, but I have played them a little bit. This is pretty different though, because in terms of my experience back in the day, it does feel a bit kind of a cross between a Ruins and a, a T9, but I really like the, the flow of the map. You don't see Prepare to fight. Colors, you? No, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Why was I thinking Ruins? I was thinking Ruins. I think Round I begins in yeah. I was thinking three, um, two, one. So they both picked Doom the, the, on this map. Ugh. So the, the, so we're not going to be able to pick Doom on any other map now. Venger's got the uh, rails. This is all rails. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> Does Venger tilt? No. Okay. He's very, very strong. He's really strong minded. Yeah. When I was playing him earlier, he was. Um, I found it exceptionally hard to pick a fight with Venger. His yeah. positioning is always spot on. Yeah. And my experience from Razor is he likes to fight. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do some good damage. He uses a, a crazy low tempo. It's like, like yeah, it's a strange level point. of low. Three, three uses the Excel. Is it? Yeah, he uses the Excel. Uh -huh. Very low, but he uses the Excel. So it's, he's got the nice uh, sensitive D. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's got some incredible intro. Perfect rocket to the, the bat. What a drop from Razy, he had to get out of there. Didn't have to put the Doom to get away. He's uh, shocked. Has to go down here. Good patience by Razy there. Oh, this will be over to Razy. This will give Razy full control. Yeah, he's shut up the map now. What do you do on a map like this where it is quite easy to, to chase and confront people when you are down such an amount? Because obviously now the, the stack differential is huge. Yeah, Venga just needs to slow it down now. Um, hopefully get a rail, hit some rails, or hit one of them 100 rockets, just predict the rocket, uh, or even some dry ball like that. Uh, <laughs> dry ball work. <laughs> just to do some chip damage, um, to try and get control back or force Razy off an item. Uh, but again there, Razy's LG is looking uh, strong. Oh, why is Venga sticking around here? I mean, he's low, but to take that to take that rail will set you back on the contesting the next item. Should be quite a clean pick up here if Razor can just get some health. What is the actual useful capability of, of Doom now? 
the ability? Um, I don't. You you probably won't see it used very often. Um, basically, you pick Doom because his double jump is so strong. He's so annoying to fight against with his double jump. Uh, especially a player like me who likes rockets. His double jump's annoying. Yeah. You're waiting for him to hit the floor just to land a rocket, and he <laughs> he does that double jump. There's some nice rails landed there by Venga. Um, this might actually get him control back, and now he's got high ground. He needs to start setting up for heavy air. So bring it over to Venga. He's done a great job now sticking on this high ground, just picking off cheeky yeah. rails, keeping Ra Razy at bay. He should get this heavy uncontested, yeah. Nice timing. Back on 25. Right, just, Bowl. just getting in the, mo <laughs> getting in the mood for the jewels. <laughs> It's 30 seconds, mate. It can't be that hard to time it, surely. Yeah, my, my brain's not not great. To be fair, because I've not been playing Quake much at all. Um, I thought you were playing every day since you found yeah, out. That was, uh, true, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want people to know. <laughs> nice rocket there from Venga. If he hadn't landed there, I think Venga, uh, Razy would have just carried on pushing and killed him. It's a, I mean, he did hit the first rocket. What a nice rocket. rocket. Oh. Just goes down. Venga's and opening rockets are really keeping him in the game. I mean, it is 3-0, but every time Razy needs to push, he's always faced with a pretty much a perfect rocket. Yeah. Nigel told me he yeah. thinks Razy is the smartest player in the game. Do you agree? Razy is very, yeah. Yeah? Uh, the, only, the only downside I see in Razy's game is, as I said earlier, is his mind. He'll think... He'll tilt or he'll think he'll another player is better than him, so he changes his game style. Mm -hmm. Where when he's on it, I do think he's probably he's the best player in the world, if you get what I mean. He's yep. just making sure that his mind's in the right place. Um, if it is, then you're going to have an hard time. He's doing really good now. Not being too aggressive, just perfect. Look at that. Jesus. Lightning on my word. I mean, Venga's got to be incredibly low now. Whoa. What I really like about what Razy's doing here is he's just playing that distance game, sitting in the mid range, chipping away. He knew he had the stack advantage, but he's not over committing. With a 3 0 up, only four and a half minutes gone, doesn't need to do anything particularly crazy at this point yeah. in the map. But, um, but if he knows he's lower, I'm pretty sure he's going to go in for the kill. But Venga, and he, this is a nice thing. Venga's keeping it pretty close. So if he does get the kill, he can come back. He's not throwing it away. So he's not tilting. He's just. Slowing it down. There's only three frags in it. Yep. You can get some spawn frags. Full control. He's, he's still in it. Easy. Yep. Venga's done a great job, though, despite all of that damage, to take the heavy away from Razy here. Yeah. Balances out those stacks. They are obviously both playing Doom, so nobody's got a, a stack advantage in terms of heavy, light, medium champs. Nice opening lightning gun. Backs away. Yeah, that, that LG is just insane. That's just incredible. What, what you're supposed to do against that, especially your Doom as well, double jumping is like easy LG. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can try and hit more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's usually my tactic. <laughs> yeah. It's all right if you got aim like you, Dan. But not everyone's got aim like you. Mate, yeah, so they're no, not going to like. It's a curse, Garpy. <laughs> <laughs> but the interesting thing, I was talking to um, Wenger about this map um, yesterday. And he said he's been playing Razy a lot on it. And um, Venga used to beat Razy a lot of the times on this map. But Venga said lately, I don't know what Razy's changed on this map. But Venga says he probably loses it 70% of the time now. Okay. Um, so I'll, this is one of the maps I wasn't expecting him to win, to be fair. What I have noticed Ooh, nice. great rockets from Razy so far is that he doesn't, he doesn't commit the, the heavy armor unless he knows it's safe. And he plays that mid upper level particularly well, peeking out of corners and doing an incredible amount of damage with his lightning gun, but yep. not committing. He just he just keeps chipping away, chipping away. What nice. a rocket! Nice rocket, Venga. Yeah. Great prediction. This is where I think Venga's good. Uh, once he's got the kill, he's aggressive. You get what I mean? Trying to get them uh, nice. respawn frags. It's uh, again. There's now one frag in it. There's one frag in here, but there's also no panic. Three minutes, he's caught him here, but he is in danger if Razy hits a good rocket, which he does not. It's 4-all. 
See, I wonder if Raze is going to slow this down now. I mean, I, I think he's trying to, but what Venga's doing is so well here is just reading the map, playing exceptionally quick. He's give up heavy, though. I don't, I don't think that's a, a big problem because Raze has nothing to work with, but Venga's now obviously taking the lead. This is now where he needs to sit back, pick up that mega health. Make sure I think that Wenger will keep the pressure on him. Yeah, yeah, he's got the high ground. He's got the weapon advantage. I don't think razy has got a railgun yet. Nice rail. He oh, hasn't. Perfect. He's going to commit now. He has to, but that's a poor jump. I, I wouldn't. I would not commit. And that's me. <laughs> <laughs> but it, Wenger knew he was low. I think he, he did want to commit, but he yeah. just did the jump that he did just didn't help him yeah. out at all. You, yeah, exactly. If you don't, if you don't make that opening jump perfect, it's just too high a risk to continue to commit. Yeah, especially with uh, Raze's LG dropping down exactly. onto he, him. He needs to be careful. This is one of the most dangerous points in the map for Wenger because of the fact that Raze has suddenly got control. He needs to keep at bay, make sure he understands those angles. I'm pretty sure Raze will have Railgun by now. Let's switch over to Raze. He is the one pursuing, and he has everything at his disposal here. He loves this upper point between the two key areas. I think Wenger, like, um, he's going to slow it down a lot. He knows he's got one frag ahead, and he knows Raze is going to have to push. Nice. So, so if you can just keep the rotate on the items, Raze is going to, uh, unless he catches him out, is going to find it difficult to get this one frag. Yeah, and this is what we're talking about. Raze just knows his capabilities extremely well, that even though he hit the great opening rail and lightning, he did not continue to push because it was too dangerous. Yeah. He just need to probably take this heavy, Go back across. Yeah, this is bad for Venga. Oh. Trap him on the high ground. Secures Mega. Now this is where Venga's in trouble. There is nothing up now for a good 20 seconds, and Razy has that middle ground again. Yeah. But Razy in. Well, Venga's got the stack advantage. It's true, but and he doesn't have any weapons to work no, he's with. He's got, he's got LG, though. An LG, mate. You can see that Venga's respecting Razy's aim. Yeah. Oh, nice what a rail. Geez. Oh, nice. Right, that's one way to take the lead. It's pretty much game over now. There's 15 seconds to do something now. Yeah, but he hasn't. Raze is just going to run. He's going to see him. He's not going to try and get any items. Oh. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's GG. He can't do nothing now. No. I said it was going to be close. You win. Yeah, I you said did. it was going to be close. Razy played that exceptionally well. Sitting on that middle ground, knowing he didn't need to push, even with a minute to go. Look at that, 50% LG. I mean, that's casual. That, that's casual. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's your numbers, mate. That's yeah. your numbers. Back in the day. Okay. <laughs> I'll hit that against you. You can't dodge. True. Ash strings. What do you think of the map? Do you, do you, is that what map you would pick? That I would pick? Yeah, against against Razy, sorry, I meant. No. no. It's, uh, like I say, it's probably, I was going to say one of Razy's strongest maps, but has he got a weak map? Not really. No. Um, I think, like I say, I think his game's improved a lot on Awoken from what Wenger was saying. Like I say, them two play each other a lot more than, than well, I've, I've not been playing, so I don't know what uh, how Razy is at the moment. But yeah. Like I say, Wenger earlier was saying that Razy has improved a lot on Awoken. Um well, like I say, if he's on it, he's going to be hard work anyway, on no yeah. matter what map. And what I, I was saying earlier about how, when I was playing against Wenger, how I was particularly impressed about him being able to mitigate that kind of damage flow in a way that he picks and chooses the fights rather. I'm, I'm very used to initiating these fights, yeah. you can tell him to go. But what we saw from Razy there was that he, he played so patiently that Wenger fell into his hands. Yeah. And that was particularly impressive. It was just that awareness of his position and control of the map in that he was dictating the tempo and the flow. Um, and that is a sign of someone who is definitely on their game because yeah. he just, again, understands intricately what the movement patterns of Wenger are, the routes he's going to take even when he's in out and out of control. Um, yeah. But the nice thing was, really was when, to me. when Wenger did get control, did you see how quick yeah. he is at getting the, the frags back? Yeah. Wenger, um, that, that pressure was... Yeah. Those, well, he's got the aim to back it up as well. That's one yeah. of the good things to know is that Wenger's aim is pretty incredible. And to um, kind of outmatch Razy in a number of scenarios in terms of combat skill, yeah. that's something to be proud of. We're going on to 
Blood Covenant. One of the older, obviously, maps in the pool. I didn't see what champion. Uh, Visor. They're going <laughs> to they're they're, they're pick the same champion each. They're on mirroring. Each one, I bet you. Yeah, they're mirroring Visor. So remind me of the rules we said here. So they're going to change champion each map. Yes. So basically, because right. the pick Doom last map, the one pick Doom for the rest of the seven maps. Okay. Now the pick Visor, the one pick Visor at all for the rest of the map. So Doom and Visor will be out. Right. So okay, cool. So you're getting a good variety of are champs. We, are we going to see a clutch or a scale bearer? They can both, yeah. Scale bearer? Is he scale legit? bearer, probably not. Oh, I but, love a scale bearer. But I would, uh, I reckon, Krupti keep uh, clutch or command. Okay. Early use of the, um, the true sight ability. Menga's got control here. He's got the he stack does. advantage. He, uh, he needs the railgun. Yeah. That is going to be next priority. And this is where Raze is in a bit of trouble now. He needs to play super defensive. I think they both use their ability off the spawn, so neither have it just yet. Raze is coming up before Vengas. Yeah. Something to be aware of. Oh, nice. Nice really rocket. This Raze does take it away, and he will spawn towards the mega health. Will he risk it? Yes, yes. he will. He's taken away both items. Venga down near a rail. He can't put Yeah, He can't push that. But again, the one thing Venga can do now, yes, he hasn't got a stack advantage, obviously, but he has that weapon advantage. Yeah. There's no rockets for Razy to play with and no rail. If he keeps the eye ground, just he all he needs to do is hit that one round. Exactly. It's leveled all back up. Exactly. Ooh. Nice uh, try bolt there, damage. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, nice push by uh, Razy there. But he did give up Mega. But again... All that Venga needs to do is back off because Razy has no railgun just yet. But now yeah. it's got the perfect opportunity to get it. Venga is a lot of uh, LG there to prevent. I don't think Razy was expecting that because he went straight up there. He wanted to kill. Nice rail. But yeah, Razy's on the back foot again now. Venga will get this mega. Nice tech. And now, to be fair, he can get straight over to heavy. I don't know if he knows it's delayed. If he does, Razy might be in some trouble here to try and defend it, but I don't think he does. No, he Razy's doesn't. Razy's popped his piercing exactly. side just to, just to protect that heavy armor. No, exactly. As soon as you hear that, you just yeah. have to be brave as hell to commit or dumb as hell. <laughs> so again... Cheeky. Dangerous by Wenger. He needs to back off, but can he get out of here? I thought Ray, if Wenger had actually stayed up there, I think he would have uh, killed uh, Razor. Nice. nice. But nice at least he got the mutual frag. Because that first, that first rocket knocked Razor above the Mega, so if he stayed up there, he would have beat him again and killed him. Because yep. he fell down, he couldn't hit him with another rocket. Yep. But nice. the outcome was still good, but nice rails there by Razor. Again, now, uh, now Wenger's on the back foot. Yeah, he needs to run. He's going to have to slow it down, get his health back up, get them uh, 50 armors. There's also a decent 10 second split here between the two major items, meaning Wenger's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I, he, he can't challenge that. He can't challenge the heavy. And razy has got timing on it as well, so yeah. he definitely can't challenge his But heavy. he also does, he probably won't know what time the Mega's up. Can he nice hit another good rocket? Nice rocket. Perfect. Venga's rockets are yep. one, one of the strongest parts of his game. Yeah, I completely you, you've agree. You've got to respect that. Same as you have to respect the LG Arezi. You need to respect Venga's rockets. Yeah, we saw both come out of play there, and it just shows the power of those close quarter situations getting bounced around the lightning room. But once again, even though Razy has died, you can see, that, as we said before, the respect from Venga in terms of Almost giving Razy back control. He knows he just can't push in. He's going to take so much damage because um, of Razy's aim. So he just needs to fall back, keep control, keep yep. the keep the advantage, the frag advantage. Ooh. Good read by Razy there, but Venga gets away relatively unscathed, particularly with the trade of the rockets. Yeah. The one thing to note is he still needs to get that railgun. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why we see him being so defensive, because he cannot contest in the mid to long range fights yeah well he wants that rail to just get that pick and then he can commit exactly and then he can use the piercing sides as well to get that pick 
Yep. He's using the high ground to keep the information game on point. But if he needs to have any sort of combat, he's going to go back to the lower levels where he can yeah. use those rockets to his advantage. Razy might can yeah. Ooh. Is he going to push this? No, I think he's let his lesson. Twice yeah. he's gone in there and twice he's lost. Yeah. Razy's itching to push. <laughs> he's like, I want to go. Yeah. I've got the advantage. I've got the weapons. But the, uh, the lovely facet of these 10 minute rounds is he's got another five minutes to play with. Yeah. I think Ray's his game, he's just stopping Wenger from keeping this high ground as he drops, but just denying the rail off Wenger. Oh uh, my oh. god. Oh, the rockets. I thought Ray's would have got out there after the first one hit him in the face. Nope. He was like, no, nope, you're going down. Is this, is this tilt territory? <laughs> that is the, the question. I think... We'll wait and see. <laughs> we'll wait and see. <laughs> I think when razy has got the control and you play plus back and you hit those kind of rockets, it's very frustrating. Yeah. Um, and I think that's one of the things that will tilt Razy a little bit. He's a bit tilted there to jump in like that. Yeah. He's trying to force the kill now. Now he is, after being so patient. Yeah, he's... He's going to get it. Jesus How low LG. was he? Four L. L. Okay. I'm back on Razy. Razor's got the pressure on. Four minutes to go. Two frag deficit here. Can't. Oh, no, that LG. Perfect rocket. But he... Menga's LG there. What? Strong. I don't even know what is going on. <laughs> uh, he's just running at him now. It's like watching a saw lag. <laughs> the LG, though, so strong. Menga's a little bit stuck. He's only got that rail to play with. Nice rail, though. It doesn't matter if you hit the he rail. Is he going to get the heavy? Is he going to go for it? Spawned with the shotgun, right? Look like he spawned with the shotgun. I can't believe Razor went back for the heavy. So, such such a a ballsy play. Why are you using the rail when you had... That's greedy. That is greedy. Good Get use out. of the sight there. Nice rockets again by Venga. He's gonna he's gonna get this kill. Yeah. There's no way he's getting out of there. Great play by Venga. <laughs> this is now we see the effectiveness of Venga's position coming in in that. Yeah. Razy. Venga's keeping him at arm yeah, exactly. arm's re length. Razy's trying to be too aggressive because yeah. he feels the pressure, he's trying to take the he's trying to force fights, and Venga's yeah. just sitting back, picking him off his rails now. Um it's Razy hard. It's hard to force a fight against someone who can hit rockets like that. Exactly. So Razy has not been using the rail anywhere near enough for my liking at this point in time. I know he likes to get in your face. And that's but that's the problem. Menga's realizing that and with that works when you have a frag advantage. Yeah. But when you have such an open map like Blood Covenant, it becomes increasingly difficult to do so. But you can see Venga's using the choke like the chokes on the map. Exactly. We've seen Very two, well. kind of two favorite positions, either standing around this little corridor here or on the two bridges with yeah. the rail. And he's just waiting for Razy to push exactly. and then land that rocket, and then he knows he's got the item. He can fall back onto the heavy. He's got it for free, pretty much. Exactly. And then Razy's back on the back, like on the back foot. But Razy now is... Uh, He's, he's got a big big stack advantage. He'll, he'll try and force a fight here with, the, with that advantage and the pierce inside. Yeah, but, but then a minute, minute and a half to go. Rizzi has to do yeah, something. He's, he's got to do something now or it's over. Probably the last major item we'll see him pick up now. Yeah. He'll pick some rockets up. He's just going to try and... He knows where he is. Yeah. Perfect again, rockets. The rockets. Look at them rockets. He's just took his stack all together. Now he'll finish him with that. He LG. can't push him. He can't push in. That is a good game. He, he had to force it. He didn't have the time. No, it's true. But, but I think after these two two rockets, I mean, yeah. What can you do? <laughs> I personally, I think he should again stop trying and hit the rail because there's no way you can take a one-on-one -on -one mid range fight when Venga's aim is nearly as good as Razi's. Yeah. It's just it's always going to be a fruitless fight. Particularly with the piercing sight of Razor, that defensive style becomes so hard to break down because if your positioning is good, 
you don't need to use the piercing sight. And then if you're ever out of position or unsure about where your opponent is because you've, you've lost that information battle, you just pop that old man. Yeah. And away you go. You're back on top. Great shots by Venga. And he's going to tie up the series one apiece. I'm impressed. Again, the score, I know there's a, quite a, a big, well, not massive difference in the score, but the game has actually been pretty close. Well, it was up till about six minutes. And then I think Razy got frustrated uh, because he couldn't force a fight with Wenger without taking rockets. Sure. Um, so then I think he was just trying to force fights, and that's where he started losing. Yeah. Did I say Ray uh, Razor? Razor, uh, yeah. I meant Visor. Talking about Razy and speaking about Visor. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. I didn't see the stats. What were the stats? I always like looking at the aim stats. You didn't see either. No. <laughs> I missed him, mate. Amateur. Amateur. Is he tilting? No. I'm, I'm, wait, right. I'm waiting for him to break his mouse. Oh, no. He'll never do that. No. He just goes and tea bags people. <laughs> uh, that was a great story. Especially after DM6. Especially after DM6. What map is up next? So it's Blood Run next. Blood Run. I played, I played this map against Wenger. It's actually one of the maps I nearly took from him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but again, it, it's. I felt that he, out of all the players I played, I haven't played obviously a huge amount of players recently, but his defensive game is so incredibly strong. Uh, we saw it at play there, but for once we have different champions. Yeah. They can go. So, so Ray's has picked uh, Ranger, and uh, Wenger's picked Galena. What would you pick on Blood Run? I don't know, mate. That's I think Visor really is useful. The thing is, Visor is very strong on pretty much every map in yeah. these 10-minute duels. Um, but on this, Ranger's definitely... I, I think Rain, I think I probably would pick Ranger over Galena on here, just because of the orb at the start. You yeah. can do the different heights. And, and, and again, on this map, what's annoying, if, if Fenger gets the advantage, you can run easy on ZTN. Sure. Where with the orb, you can kind of catch them out. Yeah. Um, do, you not, do you not find that Galena lends itself to that defensive play that Blood Run can favour? It can do, but a totems are not as strong as they used to be. So I think you only take 40 damage now from a totem and it doesn't heal you as much right. as it used to. Um, so yeah, it's strong if you get the overstack on the three totems. Um, but I don't know. I just think I think Ranger Ranger on this map is suited better than Galena. But we'll find out. I might be wrong. <laughs> I used to enjoy picking Galena on um, Ruins. Yeah. That, that was one. Of, that was really only one of the few maps I would. So Venga's got the Mega Spawn. Ray's got the Heavy. Oh. See any other champion here? Razy would have been dead there. Venga pinned him to the wall with some nice LG, and then uh, Razy used the orb just to get out of there. Which was smart. Maintaining that low ground. He knows that Razy needs to get that yeah. lightning gun. And Venga knows that Razy's going to want that LG. Exactly. Nice. He's got full control now, heavy and mega. And now we have to see Razy. Yeah. What can he do on the defense? I think with the Venger as well, he, he won't try and force a fight unless he knows he's got the kill. Right. Even though he's not, he knows he's got a lot better stack than Razy, but he's not going to try and force a fight like and lose his stack is that for no reason. An aspect the way he plays against Razy, or is yeah. that just his play style? No, I think that's his play style. I think if he knows he's he can push and he's not going to take much damage, then he's going to do it. Uh, but he knows against Razy, Razy can aim. He knows he, he don't want to be taking a lot of damage because Razy's going to just come straight back in at you with his aim and, and take that control back. One and a half minutes in and we haven't seen a confrontation. Let's watch over to Razy on the defense. Absolutely nothing to play with, but he has got all weapons now. Razy's going to look for one, uh, like a, a hundred rocket or a rail and then hopefully can nick one of the major items. Exactly. It's one of the um, really, really tough things, obviously, with great champions is the fact that you cannot take those light armors yeah. when you are in your max stack. 
You can only overstack with the major items. He stole Mega, that's good. But yeah. So the stacks are pretty much even. So Raze is definitely, uh, he's definitely back in it. But also now showing respect after he lost quite a few fights on Blood Covenant. Playing it slow, taking it down to Venga's level now. But he's caught him here. Ooh, Venga he has no idea where he is. He knows he's there. Nice, nice bit of damage bit, there. Yeah. That's all he needs to do to maintain control. So now Raze has got full control. Exactly, and he has... Oh, the rockets. Once again, those oh, that rail was so close. But you see, as soon as Raze gets the heavier mega, he wants to force... He wants yeah. to kill you. He's just like, he wants to force it. But it's, he's not overcommitting, yeah. as we saw him in the last map. Yeah. He is playing a lot more I patient. Th here. I think he's just respecting uh, Wenger's uh, rockets now. Exactly. He, he knows... He's going to take a lot of damage, if not die, even with full stack. Yeah. If he doesn't catch Wenger out right, he's going to take a lot of damage. And Blood Run, one of those maps. He didn't get the helmet, though. He could be down here. No. Wenger might. Is he going to chase? No, he's not going to chase with that stack. But a lovely go. LG to, to stop uh, raising again the heavy there. And he had to use the orb. He was going to die. Raze yep. was waiting to see if he was going to hit the heavy yep. to then orb down. But Wenger just pinned him. He, p he was pushing him higher in the air, and he knew he just had to try and get out of there. Back to a rather slow paced game. Switching back to Wenger here. So now Wenger's got full control pretty much. He does. Raze is on the back foot, so he's gonna have to slow things down and and do what he did before, hit that rail, maybe, and then and then nick a major item off uh, Wenger. But now it's Razy playing that light armor room up by the stairs. Has got timing though on yeah. both major items. <laughs> that was nice. nice. That was nice. But he's just going to sit in that room now. He obviously yeah. stole away the heavy armor and he did hear the mega. There is a chance he could make a play. If not to do, to steal it, at least to do, do damage. damage. Yeah, definitely. I think that's where he's probably going to play for. He's going to probably play for damage again and then hopefully get the heavy and then he's he's back in control. Oh no, he's actually going to take. Nice. nice. That he's sets him back. He's going to orb up, I think. Or rocket jump up. Good zoning orb there. Yeah. A good distraction. He knew if exactly. he'd gone to it, Venga was going to land a rocket. Exactly. On but instead, he just took the heavy for free and took no damage. Great play by Razy. But still 0-0 zero, zero here. Just over five minutes to go. But you can see the mobility of, uh, of of Ranger on this map. So you can be any level and he's, exactly. he's still able to get the heavy. And that's, that's and get out of there. The big difference so far is exactly that, in that we see the two kind of contrasting styles of the champions in that Razy is abusing yeah. that mobility while Wenger is abusing the totems for his defensive oh, position. Uh, and that's what is semi causing a stalemate as he pushes in. Don't think that orb did any damage though, meaning there is absolutely nothing Razy can do in terms of following up and committing. But well, Wenger had to get out of there. He knew he was in trouble if he stuck around. But I think if if this shows, um, like I was saying, the Glaner and Ranger on here, I think any other champion, if if Razy had picked uh, Glaner, I reckon he'd be down. He would have yeah. he would have easily been down. The strategy from the pick phase coming through. We are mobile now, boys. Sneaky, sneaky. There is a good 10 second split between the major items, meaning Razy does have commission, but that 70 damage can be nullified because he took it before Ooh, that the major item. That's him now where he is, though. It does, but it was only obviously only 40 damage yeah. now, as you said, so not a huge amount of damage coming through to stop Razy from pushing on. That would have been nice if it was just a split second later, so that little bit of chip damage wasn't hit by the uh, tri bolt. I think Razy was looking the other way till he heard that dink and then looked back. Exactly. I reckon Venga could have got in there and done a lot of damage to him. But you can see Venga, he hasn't left that high ground for a good three minutes, I think. You know, he knows he can't take any fights for the Mega Health. Razy is searching for him, but Venga playing the teleporter game. Such a mental game, though. This like uh, good rail ZTM. It's like a chess game. It has oh, to be getting here nice. for the kill. That's really nice follow-up. 
Really, really nice shot. Is Ming going to try and get this frag back quickly or work with the three minutes he's got? I think he has no choice but to work with it at the moment. Just one more. The pressure is unreal here from Razy. That was decent LG, though, by Venga. He's, he's stripped. What he is does. Razy he's got 15 on? seconds. Okay. So there is a chance if Venga can get the rocket and at least a rail, he might be able to put up a fight with this heavy armor. But not with that rocket. Jeez. Nice, nice rockets from Razy. Nice by Razy. Just taking away the health. Jeez. Raising anyone down there. Yeah, but with those two health bubbles, yeah. pretty much impossible for Venga to do anything. And if he gets a kill here. Again, the Ranger showing his strength with the orb there. It's going to be hard work now because. With the orb and everything. Yeah, and with Razy having the orb, the mobility. <sighs> to get four frags back on ZTN is. Well, Razy's got to throw it away, basically. For, for Venga to come back. Entirely possible. Entirely possible. He did steal away the Mega. Let's move over to Venga. But as you say, it's just, it's just so hard because there's no... Like, the mobility difference is incredible. Like There's the rocket jump, obviously, from Razy as well. Yeah. The reduced damage. Exactly. Which is not underrated, but overlooked a lot of the time. Yeah. I mean, as Venga's proved me wrong, and just doing it anyway. He's got to, he's got to do something to try and catch up, because, like you say, the mobility of Ranger is all, and then he's just given away uh, Mega. So nice. Re he's got a chase. He's got, he's got a minute left, pretty much, to get four frags on ZTM. Yeah, you can see Razy just sticking around by those teleporters. Totem giving him away though, knowing he did go through. One minute warning. But, uh, up. The rocket knocking him off. Yeah. I think Venga knows it's pretty much good game with 50 seconds to go. Four frags. <laughs> Unless he gets one right now. There ain't nothing to be done. He's just going to stay at that bottom teleporter. If he commits, he's going to go through and then off he go with a follow rocket. Dunk. 93 damage rocket though. Nice rocket from uh, Venga. He's he still going to get away. That defensive rocket just oh saved Razy's life. Oh my god, I would tell. I think, I mean, even though it is 4-0, like, winning to zero is always, is always a really great morale boost. Just shows that you ain't got nothing on me. But I think that's uh, ZTN's uh, play style as well. It's, it's... I think you're going to see a lot of low-scoring games on ZTN when when you're getting the pros versus each other. Do you not think the like I don't know maybe picking a Sawlag or a Clutch to clutch a certain maybe. degree you but can then just you can always commit. Yeah, but have you do you know what they've done to Clutch Shield now? Since which, which patch? Uh, about Is two it patches ago. It's it's absorbed yeah. damage. Um, so basically. It, it takes down you always take damage, but you take reduced damage yeah. now. But um, I mean, the reason why I feel that is potentially quite strong on that map is because one of the hard things is committing round, committing into those tight spaces. And so yeah. one, you're losing momentum, whereas with the shield, I don't think you lose momentum still. I think yeah. you can still keep it up to a certain degree. Um, and secondly, the fact that you just take less damage and have a huge damn stack yeah. means you can always push through those choke points. Um, I mean, it's it's just a theory. Yeah, it's just a theory. The score is two one. Two, two one to Razy. To Razy, and we're going to go on to corrupt to keep. So Venga's now picked um, Ranger, and Razy's picked Zorlag. Ouch! So this Zorlag on this map is could be interesting. Quite hard to stop when you get momentum. Yeah, two one to Razy. But going back to the clutch on ZTN. He's so big, so you need to play him. Basically, you need to play him perfectly. You, you get what I mean? Because no, you've got I, no, such tight corridors, you're going to constantly get hit. It's true, but it's also a map where you haven't got many open spaces. So you're not yeah. going to get picked off quite a lot. Yeah, That's like unlike, I don't know. Um, he's, he's good on uh, Blood Covenant, for instance, but you can play that range game quite well. Yeah. Whereas on, on uh, Blood Run, you can close the gap a lot 
more effectively without yeah. without taking that a damage advance. Yeah. That's one of the things I think c could be quite useful. But again, I don't know. But I think I with the shields patch. changed now. Um, before, you did have a rocket hit your shield and it wouldn't slow you down. But it does now. But now it, but not it does. In the same in the same capacity. As I've not played clutch much, champion. so I don't know. But it still bounces you. Even that little bounce yeah. from a rocket's gonna stop you from getting through the corridor. See, I, I thought it, I thought it wasn't as much, but if it is, then obviously that just. I'd have to test myself. I've not Everything. really played much. So. Yeah, sure. We can both play clutch later. Then. Clutch on clutch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is interesting because the both players have got huge mobility. Um, definitely with Zorlag with a CPM aim movement and then uh, Finger has Ranger with his all. But I think I'd favour Wenger on this map. He's very solid on this map. Yeah. He gives, this is probably one of my favourite maps and yeah, it's hard work versus it Wenger. Is. Jeez. And even though it is one of the smaller, obviously, faster pace maps, it's all about that positioning. Yeah. And Every map's all about the opening rocket, but this one even more so because of those tight corridors. And you just once you close someone down, you can't get away. So if you, yeah. if you initiate and you don't hit the first rocket, it's almost always sudden death. Yeah. Um, and it's because obviously there is no railgun, so it's all about that close combat skill. The nice thing here, uh, a nice big hitbox for Fenger to shoot at. So. Ray's got to make sure he don't get caught in the open because he is going to take a lot of damage from that LG. I think that was where he is. Menga's just really good at keeping range and doing constant chip damage. So he always feels like you've never got Mega like a good stack. Exactly, and once again, but I don't think Menga's left that mid ground yet. He's more than happy to give up a major item if it means he can maintain a superior yeah. position. I knew he had that heavy to fall back on. He was just staying there to do more chip damage. Nice oh, rocket now. That was a really nice rocket. He thought he could get there just before Razy, but he was denied. I think Wenger needs to challenge or, or do a lot more damage than he is doing on this Mega Elf. Yeah, and it's particularly prevalent when you're playing against, obviously, a saw lag that has that stack advantage. Nice rocket there. Ray's going to carry on pushing. He knows there's a delay on the Valve Island, so now he's got... Yeah. Finger's going to struggle now, because Ray's is going to be aggressive, especially with his movement. He knows he's got the stack advantage, and he's got the speed to, to close the distance down to get on top of Wenger. Mm -hmm. Looks like he also perhaps took away that light armor as well, meaning Ray's had nothing to work... Sorry, Wenger has nothing to work with. I thought was a bit of panic there, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, another cycle of rock of uh, the heavy items, and now I think this is where we can see Razy really getting aggressive. Now he's taking them away two cycles in a row. He's even taking the the small arms. Exactly. Yeah, going down. And then that's exactly like what can you do when you have this this the stacked saw lag running at you? I just like it's going to be one of them. It's going to be hard work. Now he'll keep he'll keep that ground. He can drop down onto the mega. He's going to push through. Yeah. Nice shotguns though. Nice. That okay. Was, that, that was like two 100 shots, and then, yeah, that absolutely wrecked him. Yeah, razy has got one of the best saw lags, though. I mean, look at the speed he can generate. What? What's Razy left on? Five health. Five health, jeez. I think if Wenger won that fight, I think Razy would have been a bit tilted. <laughs> a bit? Yeah. Oh, nice spit there by Ray. Get back to that mega. Ooh, uh, get on that. There we go. Ray though does pick up the heavy armor and gets the lightning on off the spawn, meaning he can continue to push, and there is just no stopping this man. He just doesn't care. <laughs> no, he's, he's like, I'm coming through no matter what. <laughs> I think he got so fed up of standing at bay on Blood Run, he's just going to tear down upon Venga. It's nice to see like the the change of pace, you know what I mean? Slow game yep. and a fast game. Still only five frags and only one frag in it. It does feel like Rosie has had the upper hand, but 
Venga showing more than adequate in terms of competing when Razy does rush in at him. But with that advantage now, understanding he doesn't need to push as violently as before. Oh, a lot of LG damage there. Yeah. A but lot. there's um, the, the major items are not split, so both can fall back onto their respective ones. Run through that acid. Yeah, that does mean he knows where he is, and he's just going to push in because he knows the timing perfectly. He's got it. So does Benga. It should be. A f it should be. A oh. He's got the orb. Can he get in in time? He didn't use it. Oh. He didn't have the orb. He didn't have he the orb. He used it before. Uh, I didn't hear that because I'm on Razy's problem. Nice LG there by uh, Venga. Yeah, Venga's playing exceptionally well now. <laughs> Razy's just. I've got a weapon, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming straight back. He just doesn't give a damn. Is he going to push through? <laughs> Every time I watch Bob, <laughs> the tide is switching. Ooh, Vegas going to be fire yeah, with fire yeah. here. Doesn't end up well for him, and Razy has picked up both major items. Yeah. Oh dear. He's going to go aggressive again now. Oh, nice what defensive a rocket. rocket there. That's 150 damage, and Raze has done nothing. He's going to go down. Yeah. Oh, oh my. One more bullet would have took him. God. Just shoot him once. Get him. Those. All right, I'm going to switch back to Venga. Venga, don't mess this up. <laughs> yeah, don't die yet, Venga. It's just straight he must back know that he hasn't got the mega health, though, but that rocket is enough. Jeez. I think if Venga can just... Sorry. If Venga can just stop this, um, you know, when he gets a kill, and then can just get that conversion kill when Razy comes back in at him. Yeah. He can break the cycle of Razy just coming back in at him. That rocket did about 65 damage. Razy again, left Razy, 19. No. A little bit lucky there. Megas, uh, Bengas. But he's... Ooh, like <laughs> Superman for there, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, if he got pinned on the back wall, he's obviously dead. And here we go. Back into crazy, steamy Starlight. Oh, he walked straight. He picked up the health to stop the tick and then walked back into the... <laughs> the, the spit again. It does a fair amount of damage if you don't stop it quickly. Oh, yeah. But Venga did obviously pick up that heavy armor. And with the high ground here, probably does a fair bit of damage, but Razy not afraid to stand his ground. He needs to get some more LG ammo. And he has a spit back up as well. I mean, he can zone him if he needs to. But knowing that his heavy armor. It's like he's got spit every two seconds. Jeez. He's really good at going he's, back He's around cycling those uh, vials very Bubbles well. as well, yeah. Probably pick up this, and if yeah, not push in, he'll obviously go back to get the vials. Both major items again for Razy. It's just hard. He, he moves so quick, so it's it's hard to control him. Now, nice, nice hundred rocket. If that rocket had, hadn't hit, yep. Venga was dead. Razy was coming in. And again. Oh. Just relentless, plus forward. Black. And there is a six, seven second split on the major items, meaning Bengen needs to get out of here, otherwise he will die. Does take it down with him, but doesn't do anywhere near enough damage. It's so annoying, them little jumps. When you're trying to rocket someone and they're just doing them little... And Raze is a nightmare for it. Just doing them little jumps and your rockets are just doing nothing. Mm. Now, Razy, he's done enough here. Four frag difference. He can sit back, but obviously, yeah. Venga does get a frag. We have seen him clear up a few in advance very, very quickly. <laughs> right. Nice. But with the spit, the rockets, Razy's done enough there to keep him, yeah. keep him out. Venga knew he had to push. He's got to do something. Oh, did you run out of rockets? He did, yeah. Oh. Even, but even a, a direct would have killed Razy, actually. Yeah, direct. I thought Razy was going to go down there. And it's like, where's the rocket gun? Oh, he's run out. <laughs> Anti climactic. Yeah. Stopwatch. Razy's LG, though. It's, it's incredible. It's so strong. 
40 seconds left. That's going to be 3-1 to Razy. You told me that you thought Avenger's going to win. Same now we had mate. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. But how do you come back when just someone hits so much against you? It's not all about aim, though, is it, then? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> a lot about aim. It does help. <laughs> I mean, but to be to be fair, I feel that Wenger was playing that map exception one. As you yeah. said, all he needed to do was break that cycle of aggression off the spawn. Because yeah. that was Razi's kind of comeback. Is that get get him low enough, and even if I die, I can get back in the game. Yeah, I can come straight back. I'll exactly. Whatever I pick up, I'm coming straight back at exactly. it. Exactly. And there was that one moment, I think it was uh, in the side room by the nail gun, where Wenger came in, but... Razy just hit the rocket off yeah. the top of the wall and hit him with 65 and survived with 15, 19 health or something yeah. like that. And that was that was one of the turning points because that was where, if, if that rocket didn't hit, Benga would have been left with a decent stack, been able to fall back on yeah. the major items and could have taken control of the map. But Razy just was relentless pressure. Yeah. But like we say, um, Sorlag's spawns with a full stack. So she's got 225 health off the spawn that she can just run straight yeah. back in at you. You get, a, you get a rocket, you get a shotgun, you it's get a lightning gun. Yeah. It's going to be hard to stop stop Saw like coming straight back out. Yeah. You can tell him to go. Moving on yep. to Ruins. This time, um, they're still selecting champions. And it is Clutch. Okay, yeah, Clutch. I like that. So Wenger's Clutch and uh, Razy's Anarchy. This could be interesting because Razy's Anarchy is well annoying. <laughs> well annoying. <laughs> well annoying. Top notch <laughs> Birmingham analysis there. Uh, well annoying. Why is it well annoying? Well, like you say, just his aim. His aim, and, and as you see with his mobility, now he's, he's got a smaller champion mm -hmm. against a larger champion, and he's got the mobility, to so he's just going to constantly be as a chip, 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 chip. But as a clutch, you've actually got one of the few in the game that can catch up with an anarchy. Obviously, you can't go around corners. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot steer. <laughs> if you go to a straight line, we're all right, mate. Yeah, exactly, but... <laughs> Exactly, but you have got that speed to close gaps. Yeah. So like coming out the teleporter and going over towards Rocket, towards Mega Health, you can get there. Yeah, I think Benga needs to slow this down a little, I think. Try okay. and set some traps on corners so he can hit that first initial Rocket to then jump into Anarchy to finish him off. So it I needs to be much more calculated. Yeah, I, th I, think, if he just, I think if he runs around... Um, Raze is just going to constantly just keep picking him, yeah. and then he knows when he's hurt, he's going to be he's going to be hunting you well, down. I am going to be honest. I, I I feel a little bit precarious about um, good old Wenger's situation here. I, I don't feel confident in an Anarchy versus clutch matchup, but I guess an impressive off the spawn does help. Nice two rails there off uh, Wenger at the spawn. He's going to chase this. Oof. But apparently the robot sides stick out. A I was going to say. <laughs> We definitely couldn't see Anarchy there. But Anarchy could see the robot. But again, this is a good start for Wenger. He's got pretty much full control. If he can keep this now, he's going to pick up heavy. He's got he's got mega timed. Um, and Razi's just pretty much got his start. In he's going to catch up with him here. Uh, Razi should go down here. There yeah. you go. That's the speed we're talking about. Yeah. I'd love, I love watching Clutch. Nice. Nice. Nice rails from Mega Man. Really strong start here by the Clutch. He's no, don't forget about Mega Man. Where is he stolen it away cleanly <laughs> as well? And he's going to go get that heavy armor. Yeah. That's a huge mistake. Yeah. Clutch is so reliant on maintaining control of those major items. This is where he needs to catch him out. Oh, this does. is bad. This is bad. Nice. But as you say, one of the strengths of Penger is his map awareness and general positioning and having the capability to maneuver around the map as quickly as he does. Actually, surprisingly quick, even around corners. But yeah, Wenger's got full control. I think he's forgot about heavy. He's just trying to... He's just bullying him. Yeah. He's he knows he's got nothing to work with. He's just keeping that pressure on him. There comes the shield, 10 health, but creeps away, managed to go and get the heavy armor, heal back up. Was, I thought he was going to go down there. But 
And again, clutch more than other champions. Really needs to go get those time bubbles. The row would have took crazy down. It's there. not as important as it used to be, but still. It's amazingly valuable having that shield at your disposal. But I think Razy will be running the time vials as well because he knows yeah, how. Exactly. Yeah, see, look, there they're gone. I think he'll be popping are, his, right? his uh, injection to um, to just deny the vials away from Clutch because it is really important to Clutch to keep his shield. Yeah. But he has maintained control of the major items and you can see him zipping around using the, the movement ability to make sure he's incredibly difficult to hit. Raising now, he's he's got timing on both items. Oh, that rocket! He's sticking around. I mean, he could have got away. Menga just couldn't lock on to Razy there. Did you see? Yeah. If, yeah. He, if, if if he could have locked on, then I think Razy would have gone down. Yeah. Ouch. Again, that fight's close. Razy's low health. Eight health. Razy was left on with that. Oh, but he's gonna get Mega now. Oh no! Good timing by Menga. at the moment this is looking a lot harder work for Razy than uh, than Benga. Nice rocket again. I don't think Razy thought he had a, a rocket launcher then. Or I, d I don't think he would have dropped down if he knew. Nice. It's nice seeing Venga he, he's he's not he's afraid not afraid. to commit. Yeah. He's he needs he's to pop his shield here. Oh, that's greedy. Oh. That's really greedy. I think. I just think he should have picked the shield and committed. Yeah. But he knew he had him on low L, so I think he was thinking, I don't no, want to waste I mean. my that, shield. That's why I mean it's greedy, right? Yeah. Backing off to try and hit a, a finishing round rather than just committing with the shield. Takes it back to 4 3. A little bit of lag, maybe? Oh. I think it might be going down again here. Heavy's not spawning for 13 seconds, Venga. Come on. Yeah, he's gonna hang around. He's gonna he's gonna miss out on Mega here and Ray's gonna come swooping straight down. Here he yeah, comes. This is not good for the, the big man. But good rocket. Oh, he needs good. to do one more. Nice. Really oh. nice. He picked up the heavy just yep. just just in the nick of time there. And he's got timing on both now because he would have obviously expected that Razy came straight from the Mega Hell. Ray's going to push this. But he, in a doorway, and we see the good position there from Clutch. is not enough as he hit, misses the second rocket, but we can see maintaining the choke points was his only real chance to survive. Yeah. I was just going to say, Venga, Venga backed up there, and he was like, I know he's going to come. I need to try and get him in this choke. Nice, nice rocket. Nice mid-air. He has got the inject, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 15 seconds of the major right seems. If I was Brazy here, I would try and put some pressure on because you know that Clutch has nothing really to work with. But we can see this is Venga now just playing in that corridor because he knows he's vulnerable. This is the only real opportunity he has to stop Brazy. He does enough. Assumes Brazy has got in for that heavy though, so backs off. He could have actually got that heavy. I think. He needs the time vials. Good look, Brazy's cycling the the vials again. Yeah, Brazy. That's Brazy's done a great job of that. You can see just waiting for it to come off cooldown. Not knowing where Razy is and going out into the open is always going to be extremely dangerous being a fridge. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's playing these corridors. He's exactly. playing it really well. Um, he's just trying to get Razy in a corridor so he can so he can jump on top of him, basically. Then getting caught in the open. And gets away cleanly. Razy's rail's been a little bit off. Yeah. It seems like you say he's shooting a, a tank. <laughs> Well, yeah, right? Gonna go on this. Nice. That's good, because he's, he's forced him off the Mega, so he knows he's got Mega yeah, to fall back on. He's done a lot of damage to Razy. He knows he can also go in and get this yeah. heavy armor. There's nothing really Razy oh. can do. But he is low on rockets, so that should be his next port of call. Good read. Nice. Oh, nice. Great read. And Benga's playing this better than I thought could have imagined. He's just understanding when he can uh, fight and when he needs to pull back and yeah. playing those corridors extremely well. 
and just bullying Anarchy with a stack differential. I thought it was going to be the other way around. Where yeah, exactly. Razy was going to constantly be bullying him. But we haven't seen anything come out of Razy really. He's trying to take these in, like really close quarter fights with Venga. I mean, that's obviously what Venga prefers. But Razy's not really shown any capability to get on top of him in terms of the longer range game. Not picking him off with any rails. Not really chipping away with him with the lightning gun and getting out. But I think that's because Venga's yeah. constantly doing damage to him. So he's having it's true. He's having to run away all the time just to restack. It's true. Venga's making maintaining control of these major items, meaning oh. he oh, hasn't oops. got the ability to do that. Oh. He does pick it up, though. So that could be quite big. But Venga should have enough time to get across to get both major items. I'm sorry, both light armors. So frustrating, though, when you know you've done so much damage and he's literally one tick away from dying and he just picks the yeah. armor up and denies it from you. Let's watch over to Anarchy since we haven't been watching Rosie for a while. I mean, for me, he's got nothing to work with. Again, has to come down to rail, but both on this map and Blood Covenant, we haven't seen any sort of rail game coming up from Razy. Let's see, again, he's just, just constantly running. He's on the back foot. He's, again, been nice. railed. Fenger's probably going to want to close this frag out now. Can he get away? Ooh. He does miss the rail, which should be his chance to get out, but runs into a corner, but traps the big man. Oh, does nice. Enough. LG there by Razy. Fenger missed that one shot. And exactly. Obviously yeah. didn't expect him to do the uh, the 180. Backtrack on himself. And that's what we needed to see more of, is just getting those chip rails, even when Venga's going for these major items. Because that allows Razy to get into these stronger positions and actually take fights. Obviously, Venga didn't have a lightning gun to counter him, but that opening rail was the, sig the yeah. signal for him to go in. Oh, nice finger. Oh. That's pretty unlucky for Wenger. He, he he jumped over Razy's rockets to actually get on top of him, and then when he got on top of him, he actually fell off the ledge. But he's got full control again now. He's got Mega, he's got Heavy. Razy's on the back foot. He's going to have to run around just getting them vials, getting the 50 armors. Um, and now Wenger misses some shots and, and gives him some easy LG to hit. And that's... It's a good point in that Venga actually hasn't missed many shots. He has popped the shield. He's going to push in. But that lightning gun, he's going to run out though. So nice. Oh. Venga's low. 10 seconds to go. High risk. Unfortunately, not high reward. That was unlucky. It was unlucky. I think it was the right play. He, he got stuck when he did that jump over as well. I think he hit the, hit the ceiling. But you see what I mean with the shield? He still takes... He, he, before, you, he would have been able yeah, to push to straight onto yeah, yeah. uh, Razy, but because Razy could still shoot him, it, it's keeping him away, and he's yeah. still taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, I know it's... I think it's half damage. No, it's not. He's four, taking four, four from LG, so. Yeah, so... What is it? 25% reduction? Um, quick maths. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like what they've done to Clutch. I don't know. I mean, that shield was ridiculous. No, I, it needed something yeah. to it. But I don't know if I, I don't know if it would have been better having a shield that still took ev all the damage, but had you had like a health on it, so you could a health pool to, to, health to pool. yeah a yeah. health pool on the shield, so you could actually rip it away. Yeah, um, but I mean that that in a set in essence is still how it was acting before without, a f but with a finite. Yes. I think that's too strong in in one on one, personally. Like it depends. It's all relative, depending on how big the shield is, right? But yeah. if it was say 100 or 200, suddenly you've got that every 30 seconds or every 25 seconds when you use the 20 to 25 seconds of you using your vials properly. Yeah. Um, can you imagine that like a blood run when you've got control? You've got like a, a huge stack and then another hundred on top of that, and then you move as quick as he does. Sounds good to me. I mean, does. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's in a good place because I mean that matchup should have been relatively unbalanced in terms of yeah like one would have ex we both expected Razy to pretty much run away with Anarchy yeah. and, and do enough chip damage to keep Clutch at bay but what we saw in essence was Clutch being able to use the huge stack he had anyway yeah the shield was a kind of a bonus on top of that meaning effective health effective health is increased by 25 30 percent yeah. So it's suddenly he's got like nearly 250, 300 stack on, on Anarchy. Yeah. 
that's a lot to eat through, even if you are easy to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you've got good aim, as we saw there, then I think it's a good place. Anyway, yeah. we are on um, we're on the next map, and we're going to start so, on Razy. So Venga's picked uh, Anika this time, and uh, Razy's got Galena. I remember Anarchy used to be really, not countered by Galena, but quite significantly hindered because one totem would pretty much kill, yeah. kill him. That's when uh, Galena's totems and hitbox and everything was... Uh, yeah, that, that was that was <laughs> a, another level of funny. Raze should be taking this What rockets from Raze. I think Raze knew if he stood still for long enough that Venga was going to come just racing round. Nice first rocket from Venga, but the follow-up wasn't so great. No, but Razy now showing he can compete in that department with equally good initiation rockets. Keeping Anarchy out. Just needs to get back. Yeah. Once you miss that rail, he's obviously trying to push in fast. He's trying to push this uh, Megas up finger. He's going to leave it. He's going to he's going to go and get the heavy. He could have potentially got both fire uh, major items there, Venga. But I think he only had timing on the one. And now Razy, he's got that overstack pretty quick. Yeah, but as we can see, he's got a mega in his back Using pocket. those wide spaces to generate a significant amount of speed and really try and close the gap. But Razy staying well positioned here. But he's caught on the jump pad. Oh, nice. Managed to get a totem. Then can he work his way over to it? He doesn't get enough, and he should be going down here. Yeah. Oh, no, he's... He's how low he was equally as low. low. But a great initial rocket from Venga. And then his LG was strong as well. But Razy did a lot of damage just, yep. just to keep him from pushing. You see Razy obviously walking around the map. Really has to because he can't take the risk of being caught out in the open by the anarchy. Oh nice oh nice rockets from Venga. He's gonna he's gonna push this. Look at that lightning gun, though. Jeez. He does so much damage, meaning that there's nothing now that Venga could do. I don't even think he can push onto that heavy. No. Venga doesn't want to take a rail here, because uh, I think Razy will push on that. Oh, didn't the scene drop? Ooh, that was a strong LG from uh, Venga there. Really strong, much better than Razy's, I think. I couldn't believe Venga didn't see Razy drop. Did you see that? No. It, it Must have got a little bit confused somehow by the uh, split levels. They'll trade the items here again. Razy will get Mega. I think Razy will be happy with that. Catches Venga coming around that corner and hits the rail, fading away. Venga's not happy about that. No. Really sets him back. Razy just playing around this middle area here on the mid level. Oof. All right. Why, why not? Why don't. Yeah, just finish with the rail. <laughs> yeah. He had a but that's just showing how confident he is in his aim. Yeah, it's true. He's, he's definitely feeling it. We're getting the trading, trading items again. Has um, Razy got. Yeah. Venga needs to do something about this. Uh, Razy's constantly got his three times. I think Look. For now we're at a point where Venga needs to slow it down. Yeah. He's going in time after time after time. I mean, you said he's not someone that tilts, so I can only assume this is the way he likes to play Anarchy. But we've seen, obviously, in the past that Anarchy can be played exceptionally strong at a much slower pace. Yeah. And really, at this point, Razy has his number here. He's playing... Unbelievably slow, but just taking these strong positions out in the open where he has these exit points. But it's just catching Venga time and time again, yeah. where Venga has not prepared for the fight. And but so he does need to slow it down. Once again, he's just caught him. Yeah. I think Venga's. I think he's getting. I say don't tell. I think he's getting a little bit annoyed. Um, I think he's just trying to force that kill to get control and then. And then hopefully come back into the game. But as you can see. It's going to get to a point where he hasn't got yeah. enough time or frags to come back. Because he, can you see what Raz is doing? He's not actually been over to the mega side yet. And that's what I was about to say is that you're, he's trying to, I mean, Mega's trying to force things, but Raz is not 
doing anything to necessitate that, right? He knows he's giving coming. He's giving the map yeah. to Wenger and saying, come at me, bro. Yeah. Like, there isn't really anything that Rezzy's doing except taking a strong position and reading the map. He's, he's getting his totems on fire, so he's pretty much got a, a mega all the time. He's taking heavy, and, and Wenger's got nothing to work with. Look, fall back there. He's got his totems to heal him back up. And he's got all the shards around there. You got to remember, you got two shards up by the nail gun. You got two shards down here. Then yep. you got the ones on the banana by the uh, <laughs> the banana banana by the uh, <laughs> rail gun. So pretty much, he can get his totems back up within seconds. Yeah. Totems on fire. Sounds like a, a song. <laughs> I nearly started singing then, but yeah, I please don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes. Um, and yeah, and oh, we nice can see now that. Jeez. Wenger is, he has slowed it down, but it's taken seven frags for him to do so. Yeah. And you can see that, again, Razy just standing strong. He's just letting him run into him. He's like, run at me. I've got the aim of, I've got the stack. But, but now there is a split on the items, meaning, there we go, taking the, the light armor as well away from Wenger. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to defend this heavy now. Yeah, there's not, there's not really anything Wenger can do. The amount of damage, the opening damage that Razy's done there. He's quite happy just taking ra uh, LG on LG fights. He's, He's hitting. Die, down here, yeah. Ouch. He's hitting an incredible amount. Not even when he touched the rail. And that's quite surprising. Raises it in 50% LG on Anarchy. Casual. That's insane. Again, he's just going to set back up for this. He's got his totems are on fire. He's going to set back up for heavy. So he's going to have full stack. What do you do and if you yeah. are now Wenger? What do you do? What can you do? He needs to. He, I, I think that's what he's been trying to do: try and force a fight that that gets that kills Razor, so he can take control and then and then use his speed to to get the frags back. But he's he's just been unsuccessful, nice. unsuccessful oh. in doing so. And Ray's is just eating crazy. What what can you do? Yeah. Is it in rails? Is it in LGs? He's just not missing. And when someone's like that. There we go. Ooh, nice. Now Wenger's going to get heavy. Let's see what he can do with this. He hasn't got the injet though, he's so he needs to be careful. Because if yeah. He's got three minutes. He gets the uh, lightning gun spawn. He doesn't. So look at that. He can't get through the totem barrier. Does enough, but still 20 seconds on the inject. And he's got the mega though. Oof. Nice rocket. Raze is now charging. Uh, yeah, Raze knows he's. He's just still on the back foot, even though he's been. Uh, I think he was just forcing him off heavy. But Wenger's coming back. Is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna go down. Yeah. He's gonna go down. Yeah. You can't fight. You can't stick around. For this exactly. Wenger. And even even though we we've been commending Razy on his aim, he has taken virtually every single fight in a choke point. Yeah. And so yes, he's hitting absolutely everything, but it's also it's all down to his positioning. Yeah. That's that's been the key in these scenarios. He's either been on a jump pad, hitting a first rocket, or in a choke point. And so every single time he's just melting the anarchy. Yeah. I was quite surprised Wenger actually won that last fight. I thought he was definitely going down there. But Raze is slowing it down completely here. He's quite he's quite happy. He's like, I'm six ahead. You got a minute yep. and a half. You you've pretty much got no chance. Yep, and now it's I, I'm gonna time. slow it down, I'm just gonna stay here all game. Well he's been <laughs> playing the slow game from the start and he's still still six frags up, so yeah. there's not really anything he needs to be changing. No. It's not like he's been super aggressive to get this lead. He's just let Anarchy run at him. Uh, he's just going to 80 damage. And once again, letting Anarchy jump into that lightning gun. Nothing really that Wenger can do. But initially at four, uh, four nails, that's, that's minus 80. He's got, Anarchy's not got a big huge stack anyway. No, he's exactly. going into the fight. 80, 80 health less as well. It's true. And then Wenger just jumping into the lightning gun again. Yeah. It, is so painful and I think it just seems like on this matchup, Anarchy versus Anarchy versus uh, Galena on this map, it just seems like Venga oh, I'm sorry, Venga Razy knows exactly what he needs to be doing. And it is very matchup heavy, right? Yeah. Like, if we if it was clutch rinse, it'd be a very different scenario. Oh definitely. But I think Razy's just played Galena very well. Yeah, this. I think it's it's all down to use, his use the totems, on use that side of the map. He knows he doesn't need yeah, to go to Mega. He knows he can just keep the eye ground. He knows Anik is 
advantage is his speed, so he knows he's going to enter there eventually yeah. fast. Yeah. And he's just caught him out every time he has. Really good game. I'm impressed. Yeah. I am impressed. Yeah. What? So We're going on to Molten? No, that's Molten, mate. Oh, the sorry. I was, last um, match, Vale. I was thinking Vale. Yeah. I was thinking of the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite surprised. Um, I know a lot of the other maps have been close, um, but that map, Wenger just raises... I don't think it was Wenger playing bad. No, I don't think Wenger played bad. Uh, I think it was Razy, as you Razy said. Razy just... He just dominated. I How he played Galena was just yeah, I think amazing. That, that is a showcase on how to play Galena on yeah. that map. That suits his style. Yeah, and he was able to abuse choke points, abuse his aim. Um, but again, just understanding the dynamics of how Galena plays, just camping on one side of the map, as you said, using the, his totem to maximum efficiency, yeah. not exposing himself by going for the mega. It was really good strategy to yeah. watch. And he knew he knew Anarchy was going to come, so. It very well played by yeah. Racing. But Ben Wenger didn't mix it up either. That was one of the things for me, is that it, w it took him a good five minutes, six minutes to, to try and alter his strategy, but it wasn't, I, I don't genuinely know what he could do. Cause I th yeah, I think, of the, I think once Racing got the advantage, he knew Wenger was going to then have to try and keep trying to push him. Yeah. So I think the only way was at the start was Wenger needed to slow it right down, and he needed probably to play mega side and yeah. not try and commit at all. And then whoever got that first frag, right. you get what I mean? The other player's then going to try and force it. Yeah. So last map. So 5-1 in maps for Razi. Um, Wenger is Zorlag. 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 <laughs> Zorlag on this map. And Razi's clutch. So this is going to be interesting, huh? Are you ready for me to beat you, by the way? I, we, we haven't talked about that. Oh, sorry, yeah. Right. I'm actually nervous, mate. Imagine if I lose. Jeez. I mean, imagine if you lose. Though. Imagine <laughs> if I lose. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sorlag versus Clutch, Battle of the Goliaths. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. What match? <laughs> anyway. Um, Yeah. It's going to be... I think... Razy's... I think Wenger's going to struggle on this map, I think. Again. Why? Because, um, again, with the CPMA movement, I think he's going to just run into trouble a lot. And especially on this map, there's a lot of choke points. Ooh. And Razy used to play clutch on this map when it was... He's, he's, he's played clutch on the air so many times, so he knows how to play it really well. Nice oh damage there by uh, Venga, though, with God. the rush. I just find watching clutch so satisfying. I don't know why. <laughs> it just reminds me of me, I guess, but... Venga needs to find Razy now. And, and oh, nice rail. what a rail. That's a, that was beautiful. Yeah, if he had missed that, it would, again, be pretty hard going because yeah. you would have enough of a stack to compete with Wenger. If Wenger can keep control here, he can and just keep doing that chip damage. Not try and not overcommit. Yeah, exactly. I think Razy will give him the frags. Good rockets. Nice rockets. But look, Jesus. How on earth did Razy get away with that? The LG is just unbelievable. I mean, I know Sword Act's easy to hit, but that was just some incredible tracking. Oh dear. Nice rockets again. Razy's getting away with murder at the moment. I don't know why it wasn't a telefrag. <laughs> it's two <laughs> massive... <laughs> they take up so much room. <laughs> two giants going through that teleporter together and not one of them got telefrag. Yeah, the teleport imploded. <laughs> oh, nice, nice rockets. Nice predictive rocket there by uh, Venga. Now, Razy, uh, Wenger should get both major items here. Nice. That's nice by Wenger. Ooh, but the defensive nails. 
Kept kept the uh, race in it there, to be fair. Nice. Quick getaway. He is trapped now. He has to be going down uh, here. Yeah. It was some good. If Ray's here, won that fight. Jeez. Yeah. Back to heavy now, Venga. And a split on the items as well. Should be quite easy to get across. He completely missed that first rocket. I like the move he did to keep the speed for... Oh, through the floor. <laughs> Venga, he's doing... He's just not doing enough. He's doing the right stuff, but Razy's putting the pressure on and just... Venga isn't doing enough damage in these situations when he's going down to force the, the next fight. Yeah. And it's getting painful now. Six frags for difference. Should go down, nice. <laughs> I'm sticking on clutch now. I think Venga was showing his... Oh, I'm actually watching Venga. When he killed Razor there, he just kept LG in him when he fell to the floor. <laughs> I think he's, he's showing his frustration out there. <laughs> but it's not over. It's, it's still six minutes. Yeah, uh, it is clutch at the end of the day. You can pick up some frags pretty quick yeah. if you, you start getting your momentum. And keep the control from exactly. Razor. Because if that um, shield's down, it's pretty easy to hit. If he's got no stack, he's going to go down. But look at the movement from Razor coming out here as he pings around Sawlag. Somehow kills him. I don't think, again, I don't think Venga did anything. It's nice. just like like speed. Razy was just flying around the place there. Like, how are you supposed to hit someone with rockets when you're flying around like that? I just haven't got a clue. Nice rails there. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he makes Sawlag look, look positively slow. Oh, no, he stole the heavy armor out as well. That's actually decent damage from Venga, seems. He, hadn't, he, he had very little health. Should get this mega, yeah. Should get this, yeah, you should pick that kill up as well. All right, so it's incredibly back and forth. But so Ray's, Ray's, gonna, with Ray's gonna chase him straight back down. You know yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. He knows where he's gonna go. He's got the shield. Nice rockets, but look at them rockets. This look. time, Venga did do a fair amount of damage, yeah. and I think now he Venga should have taken away all the health as well. Yeah, Venga will be straight back now. Has he got a shotgun or MG? MG. Oh, shotgun, yeah. But again, the Venga took a lot of damage there. It's a lot of fighting this map. I mean, no one's willing to let anyone settle. <laughs> oh dear, Venga. The timing on the uh, Ranger, uh, <laughs> Razy just dropping down on that heavy as Venga's coming through again. He's done that twice to him now. Just as he's about to pick up the heavy, <laughs> Razy stole it in front of him yeah. and hit him with a rocket. He's got his shield back up. He's, yeah. he's got him pushed into a corner. He can't do nothing about it. He'll pick this mega up now. Yeah. That aim, even, even being easy to hit, he still does enough just because he was able to get the major items. He needs, he needs to get straight back in there. But just look how quick. Just uh, get away from yeah. Sword like. oh Now dear. he's going to do a lot of damage to him while he's chasing. And took absolutely nothing. nothing yeah. And picks up all those shards, and the shield is back. Yeah, the shards on this map for, for Clutch is stupid. You can pretty much get your shield back straight away. You go in that back room. I know it puts you out of position, but... It's just totally worth it, right? Yeah. You can just bully your way out if you need to, or just fly out, because yeah. that's what apparently he does. <laughs> There's like six shards just in that area. I think Venga's just trying to find him. But Razy is good at uh, avoiding until he's got the stack. So until he wants to fight, basically. Mm. I mean, this. I mean, there hasn't really been much strategy in this game. It's just been back and forth fighting. Yeah. Seems to be a little bit more common now, but Razy just hunting down Sawlag, really tracking around the map, oh, trying nice. to fight. I don't, I don't. Honestly, I don't think he'd be unhappy with that. He did enough damage to keep no, him low. Yeah. 
Also and picks up the heavy armor. He spawns back in, he's got the heavy armor, he's got full control again. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. You With that frag buffer, he did exactly what he wanted to do. Yeah. And Benga can't do nothing about it now. He needs to try and get a clean frag, but Ray's just not letting him at all. He's even chasing him now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, that rocket. Oh, gosh. How on earth did you get snuck up by a clutch? <laughs> Hell, Jesus, so strong. I mean, they're both hitting incredible amounts. 45, 45 and 47. But I think Razy knows Venga is very rocket heavy. So as you can see, he he's constantly just keeping his LG out and fighting Venga with LG when Venga's using rockets. Right. And Venga's struggling to hit him because he's... he's it's like a massive robot that's flying around <laughs> and just getting constantly pinned with the LG while doing it. Mm. It's just, it's frustrating. And then when you think you've got him, you've got Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Venga with the gauntlet. He'll be happy with that. And yeah, and when you think you've obviously got him, he's also got his shield to pull back on. I mean, yeah. You've got to do even more damage as he's flying around. While he's eating you with 100% LG. It's yeah. like, what do you do? I know he's going to get heavy. I mean, that was a, a fun map. I wouldn't call it a lesson in how to play Veil. Vale. Just, uh, just constant action. Yeah, it's it good. Just fun. But it just shows how good these two are, though. They, they've played every single champion mm -hmm. at such high level on every map that they've played. Absolutely. I think that's one of the things I like about Quake Champions as well, I mean, all the different champions. So you can't just be good at one champion to be good at the game. You've got to have at, at least, a, I reckon, five champions that you need to be decent at to, sure. to compete at the top level. What, what are your five, Garpy? I ain't got no, I've got oh, two. There we mate. go. <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> what are your two guys? <laughs> no, I was going to say, I like. Uh, there's quite a few. There's literally any slash I don't play, so I just can't stand the slash. You play Quake 4, though? Yeah, but it's different in this. I, I don't know, I didn't play Quake 4. No. And I can't slide. Yeah, I can't slide in this either, mate. Oh, fair. I've never tried, though. But well, yeah, that was a good game. That was, um, that was lots of fun. 6 1. I didn't expect that to be fair, as you know, from the start. Um, I mean, there were a couple of maps that were like it could one have gone or two frame difference, yeah. right? And then there was, I can't remember which map it was. I think it was, um, sorry, Keep. That was all there, there was a difference in the frags, but that was again really, really close really for close. the most part. And I feel Ruins, Wenger should have won. I think he actually yeah. played better on Definitely Ruins better. Uh, than um, I felt Razor. Much better. Um, but yeah, it just didn't, didn't turn out that way. Uh, but very close. Um, but Razy's aim and his play, especially on Molten, how uh, we played Galena on there was, yeah, it that, was that, that, that was the one map that was just officially yeah. one-sided. Like yeah. There's nothing that Finger could have done on that no. map. I mean, it did, not in the way he played, but yeah. that was just a faultless performance. Yeah. Um, I think I think that was champion, that lineup. Um, like I say, if, if the rules, if the end said, like, we won't play the same champion yeah. twice, I don't think they would have picked those. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all about fun. Um, right? Yeah, but... I think just that how it worked out that matchup is why it was so one-sided. Um, again, Razy just playing Galena very well. What would you have picked if you, if you said I was going up against a, a Razy Galena on Molten? What is Garpy going to pick to counter him? <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I think I think Visor is very strong on in this matter. Um, just having the intel and knowing where you can push, where you can't push uh, with the vision. Um, we're also playing. You could also play Galena, and you play the other side of the map. That's true. Um, like I say, it's a bit of a, like a game of chess, isn't it? It's just whoever gets the first kill and can keep the control. Um, it, it just shows you don't need to go over the other side of the map. But who can control that heavy side? Because, like I say, all the vols seem to be by heavy. Mm. So if you've got a Galena and you can stay that side of the map, you've pretty much got a mega full time and a heavy. And then the other player's got to push in with full stack on both. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. Well, it was good games anyway. I, yeah. I enjoyed that. So we are just going to throw to a quick video and we will be back with some more games.
Hello. 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 We still need to get into spectator first. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Wenger, play for Maestro Gaming. We just finished to play. And I'm Razy, I'm also from Maestro Gaming. And we are about to cast Garpy versus ZSX. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I think I'm kind of happy with my performance. Uh, I could have played better for sure. He played a really top game. Uh, that's it basically. Yeah, uh, I tried my best because um, we've been practicing a lot lately and I wanted to take this seriously even though it was only a show match just to see how it feels this new format of dueling. Um, I'm happy with the results. Right. I love you all. <laughs> I love my viewers as well. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> I know that. But <laughs> Wait, thank you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm actually in game. All right, so um, I don't really know ZSX that much, but I know that he and Garpy has a history because they are both from UK, and uh, Garpy has been competing for for a very long time now, and he's been playing all kinds of games like Painkiller, Half-Life 2, um, well, of course, Quake as well. And lately he's been more focused around playing Battle Royale games, uh, but for this show match he's been kind of preparing himself as well in Quake. <coughs> and he's actually in really good shape. Well, I mean, uh, I know Garpy from already two years. He's a really good friend of mine, but he's also an awesome player. Uh, about this, I don't really don't know him that much. We played a couple matches before, and he's in a really good shape, so that's probably going to be a really good matchup. Alright, so um, how does it feel to play slower than I usually would have in like previous builds of the game? Um, I, I play way more cautiously and I miss running around headlessly because <laughs> that's a lot of fun, especially with Sword like an Anarchy, even with Clutch. Um, but this current build requires a more strategi strategic approach uh, in order to uh, win the match and you can just um, run at your opponent the whole time because um, eventually you're just gonna realize that you are losing by like five points and then you're running out of time so you have to be very careful you have to think it through and uh, when the time is right you have to uh, attack your opponent Matchups to play. Uh, hmm. There are a lot of matchups actually. It depends also on the map. I really like to play with Visor because uh, I see that in the M6. Uh, clutch. I tried Clutch. It didn't end up well, but I really love playing him. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of like to play all characters, yeah, no matter what. I just enjoy doing it. Like. Alright, so they are about to be ready. We still need Wenger in the lobby, but he's about to be invited. Yeah. Uh, 
So they are going to play best of three. And, uh, well, I haven't played against ZSX, and I haven't seen him play. Apparently, he's in good shape, according to Wenger, because he played him earlier. Uh, all I know is that Garp is in good shape, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna put up a show for sure. All right, we we still need Wenger in the yeah, lobby. Me? All right, all right, he got his invitation. We're ready to we go. are ready. Spectators are ready. Tell them that we are ready. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excited to see them play against each other. They're banning. They're doing bans. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, we we are still in the banning and picking pro uh, process, and soon we'll figure it out. What is gonna be played? They want to play best of five. Oh, they want. Oh, it is gonna be best of five, not best of three. Okay, we're gonna do a best of five. Seems like. Yes. So, they are banning maps at the moment. I mean, picking maps. The M6, I can see. Yes. Yeah, so, um, since ZSX hasn't been really active in the game. They are probably going to avoid playing the newer maps and just go back for the old school ones like the M6 and ZTN. Exactly. It's really, it's really good. So I wonder how it's gonna perform. Is that the is good with the railgun? Yeah. Oh. Really good railgun. It's same also overall. It's really on point. Yeah. So we are starting now. A good railgun is always scary on the M6. Let's do it. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> I am ready. I'm excited to see them play. All right. All right. So, map <laughs> 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 is about to load in, and then we'll see uh, where they're gonna spawn. We're gonna be also best casters. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. All right. Map is starting soon. We are in the loading. I can see them in the map, so... Okay, we're starting now. Have fun to both of the players, hope they enjoy their matches, and let's see how they do. Yeah, so uh, Gorpi picked Visor, which is a really good pick for the M6, um, exactly. because of the railgun and the wall hack, and Zed Taxi is gonna play uh, Ranger. He spawns Z attacks on the Mega side. He's gonna pick up the LG and probably pick up Mega very soon. But Gorpi hasn't gone for heavy yet, because I think he's trying to see if he can deal chip damage before it. But they actually end up picking up the both items at the same time. Yeah, exactly. That's a pretty default start, I would say. This yeah. But Gorpi already got the railgun, which is really good, because uh, soon he'll probably use his wall hack and then start railing at Z attacks. That's a nice rail by Garpy. Yes, that's one rail. It's a really good one. So he already has to play defensive. That's what we know. Mega and uh, Rave Armor, they're gonna spawn at the same time. Yeah, it seems like they equalize the stats. Exactly. Uh, unless uh, the sex skips He's not going for it, yeah. Uh oh. That's, that's a really nice, nice LG. LG. That was oh. a really good trap, but because of the stack difference, uh, Garpy ended up winning the fight. And Heavy is still up, so he's gonna restack very quickly. Yeah, that's was a, that was a really nice frag for Garpy. And now the game slows down again. Z ZSX needs to collect weapons and some stack. It's, it's the push. LG against Rocket. That's a really good place for Rocket. He's going in. Corpy is going nice aggressive. ZSX is trying to escape, but Gorpy won't let him. He wants this frag because no, he knows that he's gonna outstack him. Nice frag by Garpy there. Yeah, and now he's probably gonna go for also. heavy. Yeah. But ZSX spawns on it. That's he's a good gonna steal, try to go away nice before. Rails. Yeah. yeah. He's just trying to avoid as much uh, incoming damage as ZSX as much as he can. But I think Garpy hit two rails there, so. Uh, it should be fine for the next fight if yeah. he picks up this uh, 50 armor. Yeah. 
time shards to collect the Warlock and he can fight easily. He also has the timing of the heavy, so it's gonna be really good for him. Nice rail, really nice rail. And he has the Warlock now. He's gonna finish this frag. Oh, but he can orb away. Nice rail once again. Very nice rail, but. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice rail. He's on 63% accuracy at the moment. That's really good. I want to go over to uh, this X just to see what is his plan for the comeback. He hasn't got the rocket and the rail. He's waiting for the small armor there, which he just got, and then now he's falling back towards the mega side of the map. He's probably gonna try to get the rocket launcher and then eventually the railgun as well. Hopefully. What I will do now is playing a bit passive and uh, understand what the next item is coming up, so to deal some cheap damage and prepare for the next fight. That's some a really damage. good, really good move. No, Ill, no damage taken whatsoever, but he dealt a little he bit. It's too old for David, though. Three seconds, it's going away. Yeah, he doesn't he know the timing. Yeah, that's the only issue. He could have gotten it without any issues, but he didn't know when it will be up, so he played it safe. He didn't stick around, which is like a good move if you don't know the timing. But because of it, he's uh, he still doesn't have the stack. Nice LG by RP. One nice rocket. And nice finish Ooh. there. I'm gonna still stick with uh, this X. I want to see if he's able to come back. Harry picks up the rail. It doesn't have any timing on the map, that's the problem. The M6, the items are really important. But okay. at least he has the railgun, so if he uh, decides to play it slow, he can start dealing cheap damage without uh, receiving any if yeah. he like shoulder peaks and hits the shots. I believe he heard him, he's below, yeah. Kinda shaking a little bit. <laughs> nice rail. That's a good one. He really needs to get a major item to come back. Nice That's rail. That's a nice rail. That was close. I will start to get position on Mega and try to hold it. Yeah, right now the stacks were equal. Uh oh. oh. Unlucky. Unlucky. If Garpy he could have gotten up the jump pad, he probably uh, would have gotten Mega. Yeah, Garpy. Then, yeah, he would have been in control. Yeah, Garpy survived with only 27 HP, so that was really unlucky. Here we go to the rail. I'm on Garpy point of view at the moment. He has the wall lock, he has the heavy, he has everything on the map. This is gonna be an easy frag, maybe. He misses the rail though. He doesn't go for it though. He play he's playing it safe. Which is actually a good idea, because we are almost at half time and he is 5 0 up. Yeah. Mega is in 4 seconds. He knows where the enemy is. I don't think he's, he saw it there. Yeah, it's gonna be really difficult. Garpy has the perfect control over everything around the map. Also, this chip damage is also really good. And he has well luck now. Yeah, currently ZSX needs to um, try to get some armor, but nice he can't even really survive this, so... Yeah, it's gonna be really difficult for ZSX. One more frag for Garpy. Mega's up. Nice rockets. He's gonna risk it. Oh, that was so close. I think now we can switch over ZSX. 150 total stock. If he manages to get the heavy, maybe we'll, like, he has the, stand the, the chance to come back. Well, it's unlucky he, don't, he didn't have rockets anymore. He couldn't rocket jump up. Nice rail by RP. And now he's again under, like, without control. RP got also the Mega right now. Nice rail. RP doesn't have armor. He pick it. Just pick it up. What Garpy is doing really well is that he is uh, refusing to give him full control. And nice and rail there. Yes, that was a nice one. But uh, because of that uh, constant pressure that Garpy is putting on, even though he's in the lead, he, he could play it passively and uh, just give the control to ZSX and play plus back for the rest of the match. Nice but he rails. decides to put on constant pressure and keep the control. So his lead is just... Uh, Unshaken. Yeah, I think it's pretty much 
soon it will be re over. You don't have enough time. And uh, the Zex has no control around the map. That's a good rocket, though. Maybe there is still a chance. Ah, oh, he misses the rail. Nice rail by Garpy. Oh, oh they're both missing the rails? Yeah. Six seconds for the Warlock. Oh, now he has the Warlock. Two minutes and 30 left. It's gonna be nice try bolt over there. And the finisher. Nice. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, Good job by Garpy. It is very unfortunate that ZSX uh, needs to push in order to keep himself in the game, but he can't really do that because these situations are just uh, not op not optimal for that play. Exactly. Nice rockets. Well, we all know Garpy for his rockets, and oh yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, ZSX is pretty much just going all in at the moment. He doesn't have. Any other option? Nice rail by Garpy. A little bit of damage. Uh, he misses the rail. Rocket jump and Wallach. Yeah. Nice Ooh, rocket. That rocket. And, and nice another one. one. Nice finisher. This map is pretty much over. Uh, was really well played by. Garpy. He also had Visor, which for me is a better matchup on this map against Ranger. I agree, yeah. Nice rails. Nice rail again. Oh, wow. So unlucky. It was close. Two seconds. He's gonna get this heavy. That's pretty much it for this map. Let's see if uh, this X can get at least one frag. I'm gonna go over him at the moment. I want him to get one frag. Come on, <laughs> you can do it. He needs to get a rocket at least. RP is so stacked. Come on. There he goes the play. He misses the rail. Nice orb. LG. And RP just finishes. That's really lucky. Actually, had a lot of moments where the, the fights were really close, and he didn't manage to finish them. So that's really unlucky by him. Yeah, the ZSX actually played well, even though the score might say otherwise, or <coughs> or um, it would. Yeah, uh, got the GG. Yeah, GG. It was a solid win, but uh, there were close fights, and he could have uh, made some frags, but he just barely couldn't. Yeah, exactly. As I said, it's just really a difficult matchup if you're going against Visor in uh, DM6. I'm up with really a lot of railing, railing, and railing. So yeah, and also the uh, the ability of uh, for the good map, map awareness is also very important as Visor. Yeah, exactly. And on this map, there are so many spots uh, that your opponent can come from or hide at that uh, having that wall hack ability helps a lot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was hitting a lot of rails even without the Warlock, so just Garpy played it really, really much better aim-wise. We'll see what's the next map, actually. Yes. I'm really curious about that. And now they, they won't be able to play these champions themselves again, as in uh, Garpy can't play Visor in the remaining of this matchup, and ZSX cannot play Ranger. Exactly. If they play the same by the same rule set like we did earlier. It's gonna be Corrupted. Oh, Corrupted. Oh, I want to see this. I like that map. <laughs> I think they're gonna play the same champions. Are they? Didn't switch yet. Let's see. Maybe they are still just thinking about what to pick. Yeah. What do we think is gonna win on Corrupted? Because uh, this X has a really good LG, which is our probably the main weapon on this map. What does that mean? You controlling the pop? Ah. Uh, so just tell me. Okay. That's a <laughs> question you can answer first. I didn't hear. Sorry. What? Kit. Kit. Oh, 
Logitech, of course. <laughs> oh, we are, yeah, we are playing with Logitech gear. We got the best mouse, the best keyboard, the, mes the best mouse pad. And the headset. Yeah, the headset is actually really good too. So, Logitech. <laughs> Um, having really good gear makes a lot of difference when it comes to uh, competing because you need to find out what's comfortable for you, what uh, functions the way you want them want it to, and uh, you know if you find that then you're gonna be a beast playing. And I can I can surely tell that I'm very comfortable with my Logitech gear. There we go. All right, so the match started. They actually play the same champion like last map. Yeah. Uh, Garpy on visor. ZSX on Ranger. I'm I will currently say watching ZSX. Yeah, yeah. I will say that Ranger is a better pick on this map. Um, I would agree, yes, because this map is so small. There aren't many places to hide it. Uh, even if you don't have wall hack, you are like 90% aware of where your opponent is at all times, and uh, that orb is actually a really good thing yeah. for uh, mobility. Because, for example, if you get stuck at LG and you have the orb, you can escape without receiving any damage, even though. Normally, with any other champion, you would probably die in that situation if the stacks are equal and both players have uh, the LG. Exactly. There he goes, Garpy. That was nice a nice LG. timing with the rocket. He was using his ability. I'm gonna switch over to Garpy. Yeah. He was using ability, so he knew when uh, ZSX was gonna go through the telly, but still the prediction rocket was on point with the timing and then the finishing off with the LG was nice. Want to see how this is gonna split this high times. Garpy's gonna get the heavy, probably. Yep. A little bit of a delay, maybe about five seconds. He's, he's still delaying. delayed. Yes, he, nice. he wants to go for the full control next rotation. I'm pretty sure that's why he did it. And he also has the Volak. So if he can make that up, and he will have the control for a lot of time. Oh, nice that try bot. Wow, I would be so tilted at this point <laughs> if I was at a sec. <laughs> eating all three of those shots. He's gonna push, and he knows also the Mega is gonna be soon. That's a really nice play by Garpy. Yes, and now he has full control. Just need to finish. Yeah. All right. Maybe it's gonna be now. He's gonna pick up heavy. He has the full rotation, and then he can just go for dealing damage constantly. Twelve seconds difference between both items. That a lot of time. He can make a lot of plays. He's using uh, the tribot quite often actually, and he's do uh, doing it very well. Not many people uh, do it uh, the way he does. I would have gone for the finisher there, but... Uh, he wants to secure the control, he picks up Mega and now he starts chasing just before Heavy nice. uh, spawns again. And now Heavy's up. Yeah, that was Full perfectly control. suited. I'm gonna switch uh, over to the SX. All right. I want to see if he's able to come back now again. There he goes with LG, which is really good. Yes, uh, the LG was very nice, but he was in a... The Garpy had the high ground, so the rocket was pretty much uh, uh, ceiling. Yeah. And Garpy has got the Mega, he's gonna go over the heavy. The and that's is really low. That's exactly the orb usage I was talking about earlier. He did it well, but uh, he couldn't get the heavy because. That was, was way too aggro there. Yeah, it was just one second too late. And a respawn, and yeah, Garpy has rockets. That's a scary thing to say. <laughs> and Garpy is constantly pushing uh, ZSX right after spawn because he knows he has the full control and uh, ZSX needs to just like somehow survive. But it's really hard, especially on this small map because he's constantly being pressured. Yeah. 8-0 after 3 minutes. That's map. This map is not really going well. It's really fast paced. Will he I don't think he would be already able to come back. Let's see what he what he can do. I will pick. I need to. He needs to pick up the LG. He can't play like that. He also needs to figure out at least one item time. Yeah. So that he can make a play on it. Garpy has totally full control. There is the play. Garpy got the heavy though. He's just going with the shotgun, doing a lot of damage. Yeah, Garpy's dodging was really good there. He actually, I don't think he received a single damage. Another frag for Garpy, four minutes in. He really needs to get an item and start doing some more damage. At the moment it's not enough. Ooh, that push. <laughs> nice rocket. He's really low, he's gonna die, yeah. 
RP is using the shotgun in really in a good way to finish the kills. I'm gonna switch over to the RP Kay. for a little bit. Wallach, machine gun, nice chip damage. He knows he's trapped basically. He managed to get away with a lot of but damage. But at what though. cost? Switch to LG and finish the frag. Garpy is very aware of the uh, the item rotation timings, so he can constantly uh, take the item, go for the damage, take the other item, finish off the kill. Yeah. He has been taking all the items, I think, <laughs> since the beginning. <laughs> Didn't Felt miss like that. <laughs> Will we be able to get the Mega, though? He has the wall lag, two seconds, one second. Yeah, but ZSX is not aware of the timing of it, oh. although he did get it in the end. He just <laughs> killed himself, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like as if Gorpi was stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> I switched over to ZSX. He chose to kill himself instead of giving a frag to poor ZSX. <laughs> although uh, that might have not been like entirely on purpose. Oh, oh. maybe now? Oh, oh wow, mutual that's a frag. mutual frag. Yeah. I'm over ZSX now. Well, ZSX is on the board now. That's a lot. Garpy's rockets are just unbelievable sometimes. He's just doing so much damage from spots. You just can't believe he's going to win the fight. Rocket for ZSX. The stacks are pretty even at the moment. He has the orb. Garpy doesn't have the wall lock, so nice uh, try. Look at the tribal again. That's so annoying. Oh, nice and rocket. And the rocket. This shotgun is just unbelievable, the way he's using it on this map. He's literally finishing every frag like that. Yeah, his shotgun usage is very nice. He knows when to use it and then... Like, he's at the right range every time he tries to finish him off with it. This is is in a lot of troubles at the moment. No items. No LG, only rocket and machine gun. That's not what you want, especially on this map where LG is really dominant. And he's constantly out of control. He doesn't really have the chance to to do anything. He doesn't even have the right weapons. He doesn't have the stack behind him. Nice little rocket, but he has no shield, no armor at all. So time shards. He knows that Garp is waiting for him. AV taken, RP is full, nice rocket. Oh, nice. Ooh, wow. Amazing frag by the sex. <laughs> that rocket. It's gonna pick up the mega. Ooh. He can get a few frags. Oh, wow. And then Garpy rocket. Yeah, well. He goes for the 50 armor, and Garpy has the heavy again. Just Garpy rocket, you just don't expect them. But he literally can just kill you when you have double his stack, it's unbelievable. Rocket jump failed. Be dropping down like that oh. is risky. They're both very low, oh. but Garpy ends up and getting again. the mega. The shotgun finisher. Yeah, and Incredible. it was even the starting shotgun. He was yeah. very confident that he's gonna hit a lot of damage with it. Nice shotgun. Nice frag at the spawn for the SX. I would like to see him a bit more aggressive and confident. Yes, he definitely needs to get the LG and start dealing damage yeah, with I it. I don't know why he's not using the gun that much. He's really good with it. Well, to be fair, Garpy is denying it very well. Every time ZSX, ZSX is oh. near the Mega Room, Garpy shows up and then says nope. I don't know what just happened there. That was a nice push by Garpy. He just took Oop. the Mega. Oop. That prediction rocket. <laughs> 3 HP, is, gon is he gonna clutch it? Oh, he was a little bit too slow oh and heavy, but wow, he just How barely did he survive dodged. that? <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, ay ay ay! He needs to pick up bubbles. Oh, the rocket! I'm gonna switch over to Garpy for the end of this match. 14 to 3 was another map really well played by him. Zsex put not a bad fight, it just didn't get back into the control of the map. But that's pretty hard on Corrupted Keep. 
15 to 3. Olak is up. Oh. Yeah, the sex can only go in at this point. There is nothing much to do for him. Pretty sure they are enjoying playing. Nice orb <laughs> to scare the enemy. And just amazing rockets to finish them up. 17 to 3. Pretty painful score. And I got the GG. Well, Garpy was playing out of his mind there. He didn't really have uh, give uh, ZX the time to breathe even. So that score definitely tells that Garpy was in control the whole time. Yeah, like, look at the damage he did. 1.5k more. That's a lot of damage, especially on this map. And uh, look at the item control. 16 heavy, 15 megas. Look at ZX, 3 heavy and 4 megas. Yeah. That's completely... Destroy it under the map control. Curious about the third map. If Garpy wins this, he's gonna win the best of five. So I want ZX to put a good fight and come back into this. Yeah, I would assume they are gonna play ZTN if it's like if ZSX is yep. gonna pick ZTN. Yep, because he's more familiar with that one. I see two Rangers in the lobby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Yeah, they're playing Ranger against Ranger. Yeah, Ranger is definitely really strong on this map, especially because his passive allows him to rocket jump uh, from the bottom of the map up to heavy instantly. And then on top of that, he has the orb if he needs to escape or attack. So exactly. he's really good on this map. map and then they both decided to pick him. Yeah. Come on, I want to see ZSX really come back into this. To put I want uh, more maps to cast. Now I'm getting used to it. I'm liking <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't want this to finish. He needs a good start and then he needs to keep the control going. Yeah. Okay, map is starting. Warm up is on. Let's see. He should have played a lot of uh, Blood Run since he's, he's a quick light player. So let's see. He must know them up really well. I'm gonna start with ZSX. Alright. Ready gun spawn. And he goes immediately after the heavy. That's pretty default. He didn't risk going for Mega first. Oh, that's dangerous. Nice rail. Ooh, oh, what? Rockets. Unbelievable. Oh. Uh, is way too aggro with the rail. If you miss the shot there, you're dead, because the reload time is really high, so the, the enemy is just gonna push you. Yeah, another strong start for Garpy. Five seconds to the Mega. Oh, he heard it. Nice Those rock, drop yeah. they just keep coming. Wow, that's unbelievable. And now Garpy has full, full control. control. Once again. So this ex wha what he needs to do is now collecting the armor and all the weapons, but Garpy just keeps pushing him. I will play a little bit more on the Nelgan room if I was in him at th this moment, and just hear the item timings. Yeah, he definitely needs to slow get down the game and play it very safely. He needs to get weapons first and then start doing strip damage and go for the items. Because right now it's only like one minute in the match, and although it's already 3-0, if he plays it slow and safe, uh, he can eventually make a comeback. But not if he constantly goes aggressive and try to like change the control immediately. That won't really work. The tri bolt. That's not a lot of damage though. He got the heavy, so that's good. He needs the rockets and the armor. Mega in five seconds. I don't think he has the time to go for Yeah, go for but it's it. good enough if he at least just knows the timing so that yeah. the next time he can show up and deal some damage or maybe even steal it from Garpy. But he got he made his way towards uh, LG. Now he only needs a railgun and then he is good to go for dealing uh, chip damage. Oh. Spot him. I will go and carry the enemy with LG right there. It's a really good place to pin the enemy in the hair with LG. He knows the timing of the Mega, so he can. He will get it. That's he okay. He should know the timing yeah. for Heavy now as well, because Garpy just took it right when ZSX was there. Let's see. 
All right, this ride seems good. <laughs> Those rails. Oh wow. Oh wow. Nicely done. <laughs> That's actually unbelievable. That's actually unbelievable, this frag. Never seen something like that in my life. Oof, but look at that nail gun. <laughs> <laughs> and the very unfortunate spawn as well. If he if Garpy decides to push. Oh he's landing the shots, but Garpy with the rockets is just so good. Keeps dealing damage. And he's waiting now. Passion. Playing slowly. He made his way to LG again, and I think he wants that small armor. Yeah, I would have gone for that before going for that. He had the time to come back. Oh, is he gonna pin him with LG? Oh. Wow. Well, Garpia's rockets. Wow. That oh. wow. I wouldn't have thought track. that he's gonna make the frag happen there. It I looked like as if Garpy had him pinned there at heavy. I had no clue how he managed to get that. But those were nice rails, so he, d he earned it. Well done. Yeah, he's on 58% rail, so that's pretty good. Garpy's kinda not there yet with the aim, but he has control. I mean, he has frags control, and he has high position now. He's going for the heavy. Look at the tribalt. <laughs> Garpy fell oh, down. What? I don't think that was intentional, wow, but it did turn me. out in his favor. Eating 50% LG. Easy way to deal with problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nail gun. This tribal. Garpy's so low. Let's switch over to Garpy. I want to see him playing with this tribal. He goes for the heavy. Yeah, that's a nice and clean frag. He didn't even take damage back. LG for him. They have the same stack, but five frags difference is really a lot in this map. Oh. And there's still five minutes left. Yep, he's gonna push for the heavy, of course. Pretty sure he heard him now, yeah, below. <laughs> what? Tribal. Oh my. Wow. I just can't believe what just happened. <laughs> nice frag by Garpy. He's using the tribal so good, in such a good way. Doing so much damage. Every time he switches to it, he is so efficient with it. 175, 150. That's a huge stack. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 uh, well, ZSX doesn't know his tribal bind. <laughs> you come to smile. smile. <laughs> <laughs> Same stack. Z I want to switch again to ZSX. He needs to come back. He's still doable. You just need to start putting a lot of pressure on him. The rocket. Wow. The rail, well, I mean, he's not missing a single shot. Oh, he goes. Oh, he didn't expect him to rush him down like that. And that spawn is not, not so fortunate either. Shotgun. Garp is kind of flicking around. I see his model doing some crazy stuff at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> he's enjoying it. Oh. Nice rail! <laughs> That's unfortunate. ZSX is actually dealing a lot of damage in these situations, but he's just uh, always uh, over like understacked for, for every fight. And he also what? doesn't really have the right uh, weapons either. Yeah, he's just on fire. Yeah, the main problem is he's dealing a lot of damage, but he's taking some fights that he shouldn't take in some bad uh, position, with some bad positioning. But the same is really on point. The rockets, oh wow. And typical Garpy rockets, they just don't let you breathe. It's unbelievable. Garpy is just pushing and pushing and pushing. Oh, Ooh. oh, that was so <laughs> close. Garpy takes the heavy. Magus in 10 seconds. 11 frags. 
That's gonna be really difficult. He goes for the rocket. And right now, again, it's a very unfortunate fight because he doesn't even have a railgun to retaliate with. Yeah. He knows. That's a good prediction, actually. Is Garpy missing a single shot today? <laughs> there he goes. The LG is so strong. Again, two direct rockets, but Garpy is just so stacked. He's dealing 2k damage and only 2 frags. That's not what you want. Nice rail by Garpy. 2 minutes left for this show match. Garp is just hitting everything. I don't know what I would do if I was ZSX. Probably, probably need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah, <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't have. To. Uh, he just turn around. And yeah, it's a rocket. Easy. <laughs> That's a good effort, though. By ZSX. I mean, we already know that what Garp is capable of. He's an amazing player. So. They put up a really good show, in my opinion. Oh, Nailgun! The LG is incredible. Oh! <laughs> These close combat rail hits. <laughs> uh, one minute left. LG. I want to see using another the frag. railgun like the shotgun. <laughs> That's how you do it, no? <laughs> Point blank. And look at these rockets bouncing him away from like the other side of the map. Oh, Ooh, that was nice tracking. Easy frag for the effect. <laughs> Easy frag. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting with the pummel. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 you got <laughs> Oh. Come on, last frag of the day for the SX. Push him. Go. Nice rail. Come on. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we won't see a last frag, I guess. Uh. GG's. GG's. That was uh, really funny to commentate. Yeah, well played by both. Uh. Those accuracies were really good. All right. We're gonna right. go. You so go. we're gonna have a short break now, and then we'll be back soon. See you soon. Professional players want to get as close to their game as possible. This means with a gaming mouse, shape, weight, performance, these are all crucially important. With the invention of Lightspeed Wireless, you no longer have to think of things like connectivity or performance, but you still get the benefits of wireless. The freedom of movement, no more need for a bungee. But up to this point, we haven't developed a wireless gaming mouse specifically for esports players. So we work directly with esports professionals across the world to develop the brand new Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse. For most esports professionals, shape is arguably the most important factor when it comes to a gaming mouse. And when it comes to a tournament, it can make or break the difference between winning and losing. We went through many different iterations and prototypes for over two years with over 30 esports professionals to make sure we got shape exactly the right way we wanted. It's ambidextrous and it fits multiple different types of grip styles and that's what makes the Pro Wireless one of the best shapes we've ever designed. 
Weight is also incredibly important for esports professionals, and we were able to shave the weight of the Pro Wireless mouse down to 80 grams. Performance is obviously key for a gaming mouse, and at Logitech G, we never stop innovating on our gaming sensors. The brand new Hero 16K sensor has an upgraded DPI range of 16,000, and it's at 10 times the power efficiency of previous generation sensors, which means much better battery life. The Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse has a magnetic door to store the wireless dongle, because esports professionals travel quite a bit. It also has an ambidextrous shape and magnetic thumb buttons to swap for left-handed gamers. And it works with PowerPlay, our wireless charging system. To find out more about the Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse, head over to LogitechG.com and keep playing. Well, that was horrendous. <laughs> For you, yeah, <laughs> it was great for me. It was great for you. <laughs> Having the time of your life. Sorry. Having the time of your life. Hey, just remind me of good old days, mate. To be fair. About mm, <laughs> that. <laughs> I was I was pleasantly surprised that my aim had kept up, more or less after a year and a bit. Somehow, I still well, I aimed you. Yeah, yeah. You suck. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so bad. But uh, <laughs> we had. No, it was uh, good fun. It was much better to be playing on ten minutes. Um, Felt much more natural to me. I can't wait to see it in competition. We saw some good matches from the uh, actual two proper players today. Yep. Uh, you're kind of, you're kind of there. Um, but anything from you, I guess? No, just uh, amazing games today off Razi and Wenger. Um, really enjoyed like shell match in the ten minutes over seven maps. It was really good. We saw some really really high level player to Razi, um, Wenger. Very close as well to Razi. Yep. Um, but yeah, just overall a fantastic um, day in, uh, for games, to be fair. Cool. In that case, I think it's all from us. Thank yep. you very much for watching. I can't wait to see more PTS and exactly when 10 minutes comes live. That's going to be really exciting. Yeah, Otherwise, it's going to be great. It's been a nice little day for us, so thank you for tuning in. Yep. Catch you later all.